Good Thursday, I'm meteorologist Clayland Murphy with your tropics update for the Atlantic Basin. That's the Gulf Caribbean Sea and the Atlantic Ocean over the Gulf, relatively quiet and actually quiet as a whole over southeast Louisiana and coastal Mississippi. Lots of dry air in place. That's not favorable for tropical development. So we'll start around the Gulf of Mexico where we do have again not a whole lot happening in terms of the tropics right now. You can see the satellite imagery showing those very quiet conditions, not a whole lot of cloud cover over the Gulf, over the Caribbean Sea. A few waves out here, one over Hispaniola, the other stretching from Cuba and even closer to the Keys of Florida down into Central America. Those not conducive for tropical development uh, conditions, just not favorable for that, but certainly some showers and storms around Puerto Rico and Hispaniola. And you'll likely some gusty winds as well. Open Atlantic is where we have some of the action right now. So of course, all this dry air out here is taking shape and not allowing for too much to develop right now. But two areas we're watching over the Atlantic Ocean that have small chances to develop, actually a small to medium chance. That lower chance is this area here of showers and storms to the east of the Windward Islands right now. Another area to watch the central Atlantic waters between Bermuda and the Azores. So we'll start down here near the Windward Islands first. And again, a 20% chance. It's a very low chance. Showers and storms have developed. And right now they're pretty pronounced, but there's no center of circulation at this time. And so you need a center of circulation and that's not happening. Conditions only favorable for that to occur through this afternoon. They become unfavorable later tonight and also through the weekend. So really not expecting too much with that. And remember, we talked about the drier air. So this is where those showers and storms are situated right now. But check out what's to the west. Orange colors indicating all that drier air. And this is where those showers and storms will be headed. That drier air is just going to chomp on those showers and storms and really reduce that potential for development. Now out here in the Atlantic waters as a whole, things are pretty quiet. No center of circulations right now. We do have a cold frontal boundary that has rolled off the eastern seaboard and continues to move into the Atlantic waters. Nothing there at this time, but the European model showing some indications by Saturday that we could have a subtropical, possibly a tropical system that develops again in the open waters. So no impacts to land, maybe some increased swell around the Azores. This takes us into Monday of next week and notice again, this is still an open water system potentially. So that chance in the next five days is 40%. The next name on the list, if we do get a tropical system is the K name and that is Kirk followed by Leslie. Here's a storm breakdown by month in terms of climatological potential. In September, of course, shows that increased potential, which is why we're in the peak of the season, it's down to 21% by October. Then, of course, November comes in, and we have the final day of hurricane season officially, November 30th. That's the latest on the tropics. Thanks for joining us here online at WDSU.com. Our girl Bonnie Hammer, chairman of NBC Cable Entertainment. She is number 25. Should have been. Well, there was oh, a little yeah. comma there. Then. I did. Oh, well, yeah. there need to be. But then bigger. you left somebody standing out there like 20 minutes ago. Who, who, <laughs> tell this story. Because then we'll tell you, coming in at number one, number 100, last but he's in it, <laughs> Ronan Farrell. Okay. Um, no, my sister, I feel so terrible. <laughs> Have you ever, like, blanked out on something you're supposed to do? Every day. So my sister called, and she said there's a, somebody outside of the window a friend of mine from Dubai waving, and I said, Hal, I don't see him. I looked everywhere. I don't see him, so I hung up the phone. So I'm talking down here to Maria, and I look outside, and there's a guy waving, and I'm like, hi, hi. Anyway, so I forget. I'm talking to Maria. I go upstairs, and I go, did that guy have on a black shirt? It was him. I'm sorry, Hal. Is he still out there <laughs> half an hour ago? <laughs> Hold up. I can't believe you remember anybody's name. You're working so hard. No, you got that little I one at home. Okay. All right. All Take right. a look at this gender reveal. Yeah. It's a sort of, well, it got away from the happy parents. Let's say. Okay. Oh, no. 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 Oh,
were supposed to pop the balloon and, and then, figure it out and if it, it's a boy oh, or girl. And it fell off the thing, and then oh, and he hands it to her, and it goes up because it was healing a minute. Oh so. no! It turns out, in case you're wondering, the couple having a girl. Good. Good. We and highly it, recommend girls. Well, that's good news because it's the year of the girl. Oh, right. is it? A yeah. A new study just out finds that girls perform better than boys on standardized tests in reading and writing as early as the fourth grade. That doesn't surprise me, because but traditionally, boys have done better in science and math. And I think everything's changing now, which is good. Yeah, I think so. Plus, as they get older, God bless you, mm -hmm. uh, achievement gap <laughs> widens even more. Hmm. So there. Uh huh. I don't know what to think of that. I think everybody's such an individual, you know. I think you're right, and I also think if you're encouraged in something, you probably start getting better at that. Here's the thing: thing. It, the reason sometimes kids aren't good at something, they don't care about it. They're not interested in it. They're bored by it. They. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I remember right. saying, "I'm terrible at math," and, and a, a man, a very wise man, said, "No, you're not interested in it." Yeah. And he said, "You, you would be good at anything you're interested yeah. in. You've got that kind of brain, and, you, yeah. and most people are." in what they love. You know what, you're right. Find out what your kids love early on and really, really encourage them in it. I think that's uh, that's the best advice. You're yeah. right. Why did I leave this apple in Oh, my gosh. See, now, see this? Oh. Hoda needs a vacation is what you no, need. No, I'm not yeah. finished I'll, I'll with I'll take that. care of Yes, you are. We're going to get you fresh apple for the lady, please. Um, okay. We do have a story that we'll tell you about a little later in the show. We were talking about how so many people these days seem to be fighting with strangers, yes. with people, with whether, it's, they can. whether it's yeah. politics or life or whatever. You're just seeing things you're not used to seeing. So we started talking about forgiveness and oh, oh, how yeah. people forgive one another. And we were trying to figure out, like, who would be the best people to teach us mm. about forgiveness? Who's been through the worst of it and figured out how to forgive? And um, we thought about that church in Charleston, South Carolina, where... Three Personified women sonified forgiveness. Yeah, remember the oh. th three women survived that and they forgave the shooter. And this was a guy who went in the church and prayed with them. Yes, went to their Bible study on a Wednesday Bible night, study. sat with yeah. them, prayed with them, and then murdered nine of them, right? I think yeah, and these women have found how to forgive, and it's a lesson. Well, we're going to show it a little later in the hour. I saw it in the earlier hours. Yeah. I was sobbing. The, I these love women, these women. Aren't they incredible? Oh, my gosh. Yeah. What a story. They were, they're awesome. We'll Beautifully talk done, them. too. All right, so two Pennsylvania moms will leave their old looks behind. Uh -huh. Kick off the fall with gorgeous new looks. All right, the big reveal of the ambush makeovers coming up right after this. We're going out to dinner. In a way, I feel as if my whole life has been leading up to this. You're really good. Do not make me cry at the stage, Dallas. <laughs> Stop looking at me! Because women will fix it. Thank you and good night! Washed out. Sometimes. Washed up. Never. L'Oreal Age Perfect Rosy Tone Moisturizer. Increases cell renewal. Boosts skin's rosy tone instantly. Age Perfect Rosy Tone from L'Oreal Paris. And we're still worth it. I started smoking when I was 16. Now I have end stage COPD. My tip is if you keep smoking, your freedom may only go as far as your oxygen tube. You can quit. Call 1 800 Quit Now for help getting free medication. See to the old, to the old, to the good that you live. Healthy hearts, feel with good, have my good to give. The good goes Friends, colleagues, gathered here are the world's finest insurance experts. Rodney, mastermind of discounts like Safe Driver, Paperless, the list goes on. How about a discount for long lists? Gold. Mara, you save our customers hundreds for switching almost effortlessly. It's a gift. And Jamie. Present. Together, we are unstoppable. So, what are we gonna do? Insurance. That's kind of what we do here. Add the Activia two-week probiotic challenge to your healthy routine and see how Activia yogurt, with its billions of live and active probiotics, may help support your digestive health so you can take on your day. Start the Activia probiotic challenge today. It works or it's free. Welcome to Tide Pods Talk with Gronk. I'm Gronk. I'm big and awesome, but this guy is little. Can it really clean? Heck yeah, it can. 
It's concentrated detergent plus stain fighters plus odor fighters that fight for clean. Boom! Ugh. Even this entire bottle can't beat Tide Pods. And now a word from future Gronk. Oh. Tide Pods. If it's clean, it's got to be Tide. I landed, I saw my leg did not look right. I was just finishing a ride. I felt this awful pain in my chest. I had a PE blood clot in my lung. I was scared. I had a DVT blood clot. Having one really puts you in danger of having another. My doctor and I chose Xarelto. Xarelto to help keep me protected. Xarelto is a latest generation blood thinner that's proven to treat and reduce the risk of DVT or PE blood clots from happening again. In clinical studies, almost 98% of patients on Xarelto did not experience another DVT or PE. Xarelto works differently. Warfarin interferes with at least six of your body's natural blood clotting factors. Xarelto is selective, targeting just one critical factor. Don't stop taking Xarelto without talking to your doctor, as this may increase risk of blood clots. While taking, you may bruise more easily or take longer for bleeding to stop. Xarelto can cause serious and in rare cases, fatal bleeding. It may increase your risk of bleeding if you take certain medicines. Get help right away for unexpected bleeding or unusual bruising. Do not take Xarelto if you have an artificial heart valve or abnormal bleeding. Before starting, tell your doctor about all planned medical or dental procedures and any kidney or liver problems. Learn all you can to help protect yourself from another DVT or PE. Talk to your doctor about Xarelto. Find a world of inspiration. Ever-changing selection, ever-amazing prices. Home goods. Go finding. I gave you both of my shoes. They never gave both of my shoes. <laughs> the mirror is set, the red carpet is rolled out, and we are ready to reveal our ambush, ambush makeovers. makeovers. Our glam squad hit the plaza bright and early to find two very deserving women to surprise. And working as magic as always from the Lakari Cutler Salon, Louis Lakari, la 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 la. And our makeover muse, the and glassy and sassy well, 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 well. Jill, Jill Martin. Hi, everybody. Hello, Hi. everybody. Uh, yeah, nice group outside. Yes, wonderful group. It was uh, easy to find these two ladies. They sort of stuck out like those are our two makeovers. Oh, is that a good thing? <laughs> no, it is a good thing. <laughs> Heidi Prescott is our lovely lady number one, 50 years old from Erie, Pennsylvania. This is Heidi's very first visit to New York City. This busy mom of two admits the last time she really focused on herself was about three years ago when she had a career change. She is now ready for new beginnings, and we wanted to give her the VIP treatment. Take a look. You thought this was just going to be a regular morning. We just got here two minutes ago and walked up, and here we are. I'm amazed. How do you feel? Are you excited? Are you nervous? Are you like, what is going on here? I am super nervous, but super excited. Okay. We're going to take good care of you, okay. and you'll let us do whatever we want? Yes. <laughs> uh, slight pause, but just ears. slight. All right, yeah. we're, we've got our younger sister, Tiffany, here. Tiffany, keep your blindfold on for Hi, just okay. a second. Here is Heidi's before picture. All right, Heidi, let's see the new you. Whoa! Wow! Wait, okay, Tiffany, take off your blindfold. Oh my god! <laughs> wow! Oh my god! Are you ready to yes. see yourself? All right, spin around, Heidi, oh take god. a look. Oh my god! Oh my god. gosh, <laughs> it's not me. I love it. Oh. You look beautiful. Oh wow, look at the back. Cut. Isn't that adorable? Dude, that oh. cut is. My hair's so... never been this short. Wow. Well, awesome. should have done it before then. It looks gorgeous. Uh, <laughs> oh. oh, that looks awesome. All right, Heidi, spin yeah. around and look at camera two for us, if you wouldn't okay. mind. Lewis, tell okay. us. You see, with this haircut, Igor Muzayev completely reshaped the shape Four of her three. face. <laughs> what he did Sorry. is he put the bangs in the front, it cut down on the length of her head, and just made her look so beautiful. I I re-highlighted her hair because her hair was over-highlighted on the ends, brought it up to the top, and of course, Eden Doe did this beautiful makeup, which is perfect for a blonde. And so that pretty. dress is so pretty, right? right Just on. a little peekaboo. Oh Just a little bit. And this was the first dress we tried on. Of so we thought it happened many. a lot, <laughs> Yeah, it was, it was so great. We both loved it, although you couldn't see yourself. Yes. Um, this is new by Shawnee, and I love the navy and black. All beautiful. right. A big round of applause for Heidi. Heidi, come over and join you. All righty, our 
second lady is Tammy Penny. She's 60 from Elizabethtown, Pennsylvania also. She woke up today with one mission, to get ambushed. This vibrant mom of three gained 60 pounds after being diagnosed with a kidney disease. So today, on her 60th birthday, happy birthday to her, she's on the road to recovery, and Lewis uh, and Jill um, are ready to get her sparkle back, and we're going to do it. Let's take... Uh, Let's let's see who's here with her today. Her, her best story. friend Jen. Let's listen to her oh, story. We can't stop hugging, and you can't stop saying thank you. We thank had you. to pick you, Tammy, thank because you. happy birthday. But yeah. you told me you've been through so so much. So we're so happy we could give this to you. Thank you. It has been a rough two years, and I just I just want to look in the mirror and see me. And I haven't seen me in so long. It is. <laughs> It's been really hard, but thank you. Oh, I'm so happy. Best present ever. Oh, <laughs> we're going you. to take amazing care of you. Uh, that's so nice. All right, she is here with her best friend, Jen. Let's take one last look at Tammy before. And bring out the new right. Tammy Penny, the birthday girl. Wow. Oh, oh yes. she's going to be happy. <laughs> yep. Uh, all right, Jen. All righty. You, you ready to look? Yeah. Take a peek. Hi. Oh, my word. <laughs> Oh, darling, you're so beautiful. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, you want to turn around and see? <laughs> Take a look. Tammy oh Penny. My <laughs> oh, my wow. God. Perry. Oh, Perry. Oh, Tammy it's really Perry. It says Penny. I'm oh so God. sorry. That's Tammy right. Perry. Tammy Perry. Yeah. Oh, my sorry. goodness. That is so beautiful. We apologize oh, about that. You sweetie. look beautiful. Turn around and so everybody else can see okay. how beautiful you look. Okay? Tammy look at the camera three, please. Okay. Well, Tammy, you can see the real you now. You look so beautiful. <gasps> Beautiful. What I did is her hair was just over processed. She had a highlight. She had a single process plus the illness, the medication that caused her hair to be a little odd. So we just gave it a single process to put the shine back in, made it this soft, warm color. I love that color. Okay, and this is a bob, believe it or not, but Igor just changed it completely around. And of course, Enid O with the magic makeup. Lovely, lovely. And tell us about I think I, I love recognize that, that outfit. And I know. Pants. I have to say, Wait. this was one of the most deserving. We just so, were so happy to give this yeah. to her. Yeah. And we're so happy that you love everything. The top yes. is Claris and Woo. It's a new one with that little cutout up yes. there. Yes. Yeah. And lovely. then the jeans are with NY, the fall colors. And NYDJ jeans. I, I can't Beautiful. believe you're 60, by the way. You look awesome. <laughs> Let's bring out Heidi and a big round of yes. applause for both yes. of our ladies. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Lewis. Thank, Thank you, you guys. guys. Bobby's buzzing with the yeah. best multitasking beauty products for under $30. Awesome. Yes. Plus, our Plaza friends are ready to play HQ Trivia with the host, Scott Rogowski. And the stakes are high coming up after this. <laughs> Y'all look beautiful. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Depression is not just sadness. It's a tangle of symptoms. It's tiredness and difficulty concentrating. Depression is multiple symptoms that can hold you back. My doctor prescribed Trintelix, a prescription medicine for depression. Trintelix may help you take a step forward in improving your depression. Tell your healthcare professional right away if your depression worsens or you have unusual changes in mood, behavior, or thoughts of suicide. Antidepressants can increase these in children, teens, and young adults. Do not take with MAOIs. Tell your healthcare professional about your medications, including migraine, psychiatric, and depression medications, to avoid a potentially life threatening condition. Increased risk of bleeding or bruising may occur, especially if taken with NSAID pain relievers, aspirin, or blood thinners. Manic episodes or vision problems may occur in some people, may cause low sodium levels. The most common side effects were nausea, constipation, and vomiting. Ask your doctor if it's time for a change to Trintelix. Budget meeting. Sweet. You compare last quarter to this quarter. It's no wonder everything seems a little better with the creamy taste of Philly. Made with fresh milk and real cream. It must be the Philly. Sometimes the best time is time you make for yourself. A Vino Daily Moisturizing Lotion with Active Naturals Oat locks in moisture to improve skin wellness in just one day. A Vino. Naturally beautiful results. I hear you have a degree in cheese. I do, I went to cheese school. I'd like to go to cheese school. Ask Sherwin-Williams during the four-day super sale and bring color home. From September 21st to the 24th, get 40% off paints and stains. Visit your neighborhood Sherwin-Williams store today. I would love something delicious. Rich in protein. With reduced sugar. Something for you. Buy a total split cup has everything you want, nothing you don't. 
by a total split cup. Rich in protein, reduced sugar. This is the Angel Oak. Some say the oldest living thing east of the Mississippi. It's weathered countless storms. Battered, but never broken. It stands for the resilience within us all. protein, one gram of sugar. Gentle means everything, so we improved everything. We used 50% fewer ingredients, added one-handed pumps, and beat the top safety standards. The new Johnsons. <laughs> Choose gentle. At McCormick, we're obsessed with flavor. It's why we partner with sustainable farmers to find the finest herbs and spices and blend perfectly balanced seasoning mixes. But you don't need to know all that. You just need your food to taste great which we promise it will. Truckers do more than you may think. It's an industry that works tirelessly to deliver groceries for shelves, toys for children, products for homes. It's a job that requires great dedication, sacrifice, and care. Shell Rotella sees this. That's why we acknowledge all the good truckers do and appreciate their side of the story. we get them, right? You want to save some money and time and space. If you answer yes to any of that, then we've got the products for you. Our girl Bobby Thomas is back with beauty multitaskers for under 30 bucks. Bobby, you yeah. scoured them. She so found I'm them, so too. so excited. And by the way, these are like personal favorites. So cleansers. Yes. I am obsessed with Laneige. They say it Laneige. Yes. Um, it's a three-in-one cleanser that can melt off your makeup. It comes out creamy and white, almost okay. like you have like a cold cream. It has an exfoliator in it with papaya, uh -huh. and it washes your skin. Now, what? you would need three of these products to get the benefits. And if you have more sensitive skin, Vichy at the drugstore has a great one that's a cleanser that Very helps warm. melt off with toner. We like getting so, rid of yes. fantastic. Let's give that a shot, um, you know. Okay, so when it comes to all-in-one applicators, we see so many amazing things at the drugstore. Alme, my best friend yeah. makeup. And I'm so impressed with Maybelline's stick. Yeah. This is yeah. the Stay Foundation. Because it goes on, you can use it like concealer, blend it out for foundation, and it has this great tip that you can rub everywhere. Oh. This is a lifesaver, and I love too. the formula. It's yeah. just it's a as good as Lux formula. Purse, but you're... these are all the things you would need to comp those. And sunscreen. Yes. Yeah, oh, this one has sunscreen and SPF 40. Wow. Big Brilliant. deal. All right, okay. brushes. This brush, I gave you one to hold. The Superhero It brush from Co uh, It Cosmetics. Mm -hmm. Four in one brushes. And I was talking about it. It Cosmetics has done really, really well. This brush has three different t tips when you crank oh, this. Oh, so when you for like eyeliner. So you would need four brushes, but I mean, by, I, beside your eyes, I use this to cover blemishes and oh. under eyes because you can pick up makeup. I don't have any. Stop. Exactly. I do. No, you don't. Look, Look at this one. Amazon, 10 bucks. Oh. It has a brush. And is that an a angle? A sponge. No, a sponge. This is good for powder <gasps> and a lip. And all of it screws together with so a cap. So it's one thing. And this around. one, check this one out. This one's got a sponge, a brush, mm -hmm. and then when yeah. I pull the side out, a uh, lip and a smudger. Get out See? of town. All four Easy. in all right. one. Okay, Perfect. again. Yep. So when it comes to brows, you know, to get that perfect brow that everybody's been doing, mm -hmm. it takes a lot of work. But I'm really impressed with Soap & Glory at most drugstores. This is an all-in-one brow kit that you get a wax, three different colors to get mm -hmm. highlight, ombre, and two tools. This is everything you right. would need to get in that. Wow. And two of my favorites, Smashbox has both the pencil that's angled in one end and a brow gel in the other side. Oh, gosh, this we is need this. Look up. Get, yes. Yeah, take Also, this Revlon has a brow gel and a pencil at the store, and this is amazing, you guys. What is <laughs> okay, it? So this is a four-in-one hair tool. What does it? This <gasps> pops up. Wait, this is a curling, curling iron. iron. And then it opens <gasps> to, to a reveal a flat iron and a crimper. <laughs> that feels it's like so Christmas awesome. morning. You can do this at the root for volume, and you can flat iron, right. you can curl, or I you can't. can get this. Brilliant. It says and they're it's all a under one, $30, a, really? Yes, yeah. and you would need all of this. And all look, right, Bobby, over here at the end, run. really quick, this is what the multitaskers are. How much do you think that they cost? Uh, 150 bucks. About 194 but what you would need for all the benefits? Yeah. 
$570. Well done, That's Dolly. That's what our trivia game well says. Around, it's around that price. Uh, it's right. the <laughs> trivia game that has fans in the palm of its hand. We're going to get our game on with some folks on the plaza and the host of HQ Trivia, Scott Rogowski, after this. What? The more we are together to get with nature, the more we are together, the better we There's forests and rivers, mountains and valleys. The more we are together, the better we be. When you ache and haven't slept, you're not you. Tylenol PM works fast to relieve pain and helps you sleep. We give you a better night. You're a better you all day. Tylenol. Living healthy is a balancing act. That's why I love Light and Fit Greek Nonfat Yogurt. Each delicious cup contains 12 grams of protein and 80 calories. It's nutrition that fits my healthy life. Light and Fit. Do what fits you. In four days. The fall's most anticipated new drama, Manifest, premieres Monday. It is the mobile trivia app that broadcasts live to your phone where you can win some cold, hard cash two times a day. All right, we are talking about HQ Trivia. It first launched in 2017. I'm sorry, that's not lit, so I'm going to this camera, camera two. Okay, and it's hosted by comedian Scott Rogalski. And in the past year, guess what? HQ Trivia has awarded over $2 million in prize money. And it's Bring it forward, more than people. people. <laughs> people played at the same time. Even celebs have gotten into the action. Robert De Niro, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, John Mayer, they've all co-hosted just this week, <laughs> HQ gave away its biggest ever single jackpot prize of $100,000. Okay. So, this is how it works. Yeah. You have to answer a series of questions of increasing difficulty. The day's prize is split among the total number of winners who make it to the last round. So, since it's game show week, <laughs> we're planning HQ trivia with 10 Plaza friends and the jackpot's up for grabs, $5,000. $5, $5, so, Scott, tell us a little bit about this thing took off like a rocket. What like, is it about like a HQ? rocket? We've been on the air for over a year now. Yeah. HQ, the reason it's so viral is because you can play with your friends. Offices are playing together. Families are playing together. And it's a fun game. It's live. It's on your phone. You have to be there. When we go live, we send the push notification. 
And it's just, it's bringing communities together, bringing families together. Bringing the world bringing together. Bringing the world together. So wait, what do you do? How does it work for people who don't know? Well, you uh, answer uh, 12 questions. Yeah. Three answers pop up. You have to tap it within 10 seconds. You guys are going to have 10 seconds to answer today. If you get it right, you move on. If you get it wrong, you're eliminated. If you make it all the way to the end, like I said, you split the money. But how do you know if you're eliminated? You're on the phone. It says, bam. Oh, you're out. Okay. All right, yeah. so you guys are playing for 5K? And you guys are playing for some Kedem grape juice. Because, uh... Kedem you know, grape juice? That's right. It's too early to be drinking wine for me, but I know you guys like to throw wine. Right. You drink the real stuff. stuff. This All is right. my New Year's gift to you. All right, take But you guys are playing for money. Are you All ready? Right. Are you guys ready to get down to the nitty-gritty and get the show on the road? Yeah. Cumero, numero uno. According to an old saying, lightning doesn't strike what? Two birds with one stone, the wrong side of the bed, or the same place twice. You have 10 seconds. You've got to hold up your paddle. A, B, or C. Lightning doesn't strike what? What do you think? You got it in? Answer's locked in? Hold up those paddles. They start easy. Yeah. You guys got this Everybody one right. Got it. Same place twice. Although, if you've seen the Empire State Building, that, it, it hits the Empire State uh, Building okay. more, more than twice. All right. Question two. Uh-oh. What animal's kid is literally known as a kid? Sheep, goat, or kangaroo? Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh. A, B, or C. You got 10 seconds. Counting down here. Chad, God, ya. Yeah. A little clue for y'all? A little kid and play in the morning? A, B, or C? Sheep, goat, or kangaroo? Well, I'm not kidding. Goat is the answer. B, I, I B, B, goat. Here's looking at you, oh, kid. So you we got, out. So got, we sad. lost so many. Oh, wow. We lost so many on that. What just happened? That's called a savage question, guys. Wow. Okay, wait, savage okay. question. Wait, don't go anywhere. We're going to take a quick break. We're running out of contestants. And remember, <laughs> this is for $5,000. Stick Real around. Money. Coming up back to this. Money. Wait, what happened? They go seven out of ten. With uncontrolled moderate to severe eczema or atopic dermatitis, you never know how your skin will look. And it can feel like no matter what you do, you're itching all the time. But even though you see and feel your eczema on the surface of your skin, an overly sensitive immune system deep within your skin might actually be causing your eczema. So help heal your skin from within. With Dupixent. Dupixent is not a steroid, and it continuously treats your eczema even when you can't see it. At 16 weeks, more than one in three patients saw clear or almost clear skin, and patients saw a significant reduction in itch. Do not use if you are allergic to Dupixent. Serious allergic reactions can occur. Tell your doctor if you have new or worsening eye problems, including eye pain or changes in vision. If you have asthma and are taking asthma medicines, do not change or stop your asthma medicine without talking to your doctor. Help heal your skin from within. Ask your eczema specialist about Dupixent. With cheese dippers by the Laughing Cow, you can dunk, do your thing, snack, or twirl. So however you snack, snack, like you, the Laughing Cow. Clean up your family's trash talk with the Glad Advanced Protection Kitchen Bag. It's Glad's strongest, toughest, most leak resistant bag. Be happy, it's Glad. In this home, we know a good biscuit when we see one. And Pillsbury's new biscuit recipe bakes up crispier with a fluffier inside. New Pillsbury Grand Southern Homestyle Biscuits are made just for biscuit lovers. Crispier outside, fluffier inside. Do I use a toothpaste that whitens my teeth or one that's good for my teeth? Now I don't have to choose. From Crest 3D White, the whitening therapy collection with new spearmint and peppermint oil. It gently whitens, plus it has a fortifying formula to protect your enamel. Crest, healthy, beautiful smiles for life. When you eat a bowl of oatmeal, you're getting beta-glucan. That's a soluble fiber that slows the breakdown of carbohydrates. And that provides energy that lasts. It's so strange to think about how a completely random moment would shape my entire life. Are you glad it happened? Life itself. Rated R. In theaters tomorrow. I would love something delicious. Rich in protein. With reduced sugar. Something for you. Buy a Total Split Cup has everything you want, nothing you don't. Buy a Total Split Cup. Rich in protein. Reduced sugar. Oh, look. Another anti-wrinkle cream in no hurry to make anything happen. 
Neutrogena Rapid Wrinkle Repair works in just one week with the fastest retinol formula to visibly reduce wrinkles. Neutrogena. A look inside the secretive world of North Korea. This storm has touched virtually every corner in the state. No signs of that. 911 received about 1,100. We are back on day two of Game Show Week playing HQ Trivia. And for all of you know the HQDs out there, we still have three players left, four rounds to go, five grand on the line. Yes. Scott Rogowski is host of the mobile game app. Let's get to question number three, please. Oh, and yes. then there were three. We started with ten. What and there happened three to everybody? Left. You guys must spend a, a lot of time on, on farms or petting zoos. <laughs> you knew that kids are what they call baby goats. Do you okay. know this question? Q3, what is an old-fashioned word for umbrella? Bumber shoot, pipple dunk, or wang doodle? Oh, God. Wang dang doodle. A little throwback Thursday question. They don't really call them this anymore. No, and they never did here. I think it's a England. A, B, or C. Do we have an answer? Time's up. Lock it in. Well, it's a music festival in Seattle, and it's also the answer bumber shoot. I knew it. A, a for the win. And then there were two. I'm sorry we lost you. It is not pipple dunk. Oh. Good try. As fun oh as my that God! Sounds, you guys have the two left. Two. Okay. Going head crazy. To head. Are you Q4. friends? Do you know each other? No. no. Okay. <laughs> All right. Just wondering. All right. By the way, if you guys love Disney, we're doing a Disney theme quiz on HQ tonight at 9 p.m. Okay. okay. But right. this Love question it. is about a different property. According to J.K. Rowling, where is Harry Potter's school Hogwarts located? England, oh. Ireland, or Scotland? Do we have some mm. Harry Potter heads left here? A, B, or C? England, Ireland, or Scotland? Two of those are part of the UK. Ireland, of course, its own country. Answers up. Both are saying England. What happens if both get it wrong? <laughs> we'll have yeah. a few because the answer is Scotland. Scotland. Oh, the remote. Most beautiful country in the world, according to me. The perfect, playing. The perfect play. We're going to keep playing. You guys have extra lives to so keeping okay. this game right now. Q5. Here we go. They're getting Great. harder, though. They, they do get harder. Oh, no. I thought two was easy, but that was hard, too. All right, five. Grapefruits were named after grapes because they both do what? Grow on vines, grow in clusters, or grow in the same climate? You guys on the grapefruit? Oh, I didn't even know they were named after grapefruit. grapes. I guess grapes got named first. Coming up today on WDSU News at Noon, fast comedic improv, head-to-head -head battles, and the master of ceremonies, Nick Cannon. The Wild Now Live Tour makes a stop in New Orleans tonight. I need to do that one more time. The cast member says, he, what a cast member says about the fan favorites making an appearance. What a cast member says about the fan favorites making an appearance today on WDSU News at Noon. Okay.
Coming up today on WDSU News at noon, fast comedic improv, head to head battles and the master of ceremonies, Nick Cannon. The Wild and Out Live Tour makes a stop right here in New Orleans tonight. Hear what a cast member says about the fan favorites making an appearance. That's today on WDSU News at noon. Oh, well, that's not fair. You can't do it all. Coming up today on WDSU News at Noon, fast comedic improv, head-to-head -head battles, and the masters of ceremonies, Nick Cannon. The Wild and Out Live Tour makes a stop right here in New Orleans tonight. Hear what a cast member says about the fan favorites making an appearance. That's today on WDSU News at Noon.
to hate. Have you forgiven him? To a certain extent, yes. yes. But not all the way. Sometimes when I look at my girls and what they've, you know, they won't have the father-daughter uh -huh. dance. They won't have daddy to walk them down the aisle. I think about them and their future and, and what they're missing out. Felicia Sanders says it hasn't been easy for her granddaughter, whom she saved by laying over her body during the attack. I grieve for my granddaughter. Mm -hmm. I really grieve for her. No 11-year-old child should be in combat. Mm -hmm. So I have to, I have to be strong for her. Yes, okay. you do. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, and I understand that wholeheartedly because I have to. Yeah. Yes. You got to be strong, mm -hmm. you know. You Don't you get strong. tired sometimes of always being strong? <laughs> do you ever get tired? Uh, all the time. Yes. Yeah. All the time. Mm -hmm. And it tells you in Matthew six, mm -hmm. right after our Father's prayer, you have to forgive others. For you to be forgiven. I would say from us forgiven, we can go on, we can wear a smile, yeah. we can yeah. smile. The families and the victims were honored by President Obama, who spoke at Pinckney's funeral. What a life Clement Pinckney lived. When I saw President Barack Obama give the eulogy for your husband, I have to say, when he started singing. Amazing grace. Amazing <laughs> grace, amazing yes. grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. are some incredible women. They do say that forgiveness is something they have to do often day in and day out. They have to keep we all forgiving. Do, don't we? we all do. We all yeah. do. OK, we're going to have more on today.com, including a moving moment when a gospel choir performed Amazing Grace for us. But we'll be back right after this. Next Thursday, The Good Place returns. I was just on Earth, and I saw this place that was a Pizza Hut and a Taco Bell. Oh, the mind reels. The new season of The Good Place premieres next Thursday on NBC.
If you don't have one, I okay, have one right have here. One. Here go you go. On, Give it to her. Oh, my goodness. When we see tears, we want to know. Uh, we just started yeah. the show. We haven't yeah. even talked about anything. <laughs> We're like, we, we couldn't have made you cry that quickly. But I exactly. know. Come yeah. on, babe. What's it's, your name? Where are you from? Hi, my name is Maduna. I'm from um, Zambia. <gasps> um, I, come from... <laughs> I, li I live in South Africa, and I'm here on a... Um, I'm visiting. Yes. I'm crying because, like, it's so surreal. I watch you guys every day on BET. Oh. And it's just, it's amazing that I'm right here watching you guys. I'm, oh. I keep saying Tamara, um, yes. Tamara is my best friend in my head because oh she cries. Oh, sweet. <laughs> is that because she cries? She, <laughs> yes, because she cries. <laughs> I cry when she a lot cries, too. I cry. We yes. cry at anything and everything. Oh. But I love you guys and I love this show. And, you guys are doing a great job. You guys oh inspire goodness. so many people every day, you know? So, wow. I thank that God, so I thank God. It's unbelievable, oh but anything is possible, and here yes. I am. Well, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Welcome. You. Shout out to South Africa. Yeah. South Africa is the love that South Africa I, I, has. I yeah. love you, but I need my mic back. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my, oh my goodness, I love South it. Africa's Thank incredible. You, you guys know I got to visit South Africa yes. this summer, and yes. the, your story and hearing from so many women saying yes. how much they love the show means everything to us. Everything. I know it looks weird because we sit here, we over there, but on a commercial break, we're definitely coming over there and giving you a hug. Yes, yes. Okay. Yes. We definitely, definitely will. Right. So Thank we're so grateful that you're here. And I always say my heart is with South Africa when I visited and I, I left. I said, my heart is still there, and I started crying on the plane because I didn't want to leave. It's, South exactly. Africa. it's so a beautiful, yes. beautiful, beautiful All right, country. you guys, for the next hour, we invite you to sit back, relax, and take a break from your day. And with that being said, who is ready for some girl chat? Hey. today, so we thought it'd be fun to throw some cash at one lucky fan. We've already given out thousands of dollars this week, but we're not done yet. That's right, it's time once again for the real Della Hollaback. Hey! Okay, here's the deal. I'm about to shout out a fan's name and Instagram handle. If you're the one I holla at, you have until the end of the show to message us back on Instagram. If you do, you are going to win one thousand dollars! Yes! Yes! Okay, listen up, yes. because today we want to hear from Candice Petro, whose Ooh. Instagram handle is at CMP322. Okay, two, 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 two. <laughs> Candace, head to the Real Daytime's Instagram page and message us back now if you want this money. Money, money! money. money. Yes. 
Well, speaking of our fans on the gram, you know we see all your comments, right? And for a while now, you've been begging us to bring back a certain girl chat segment. Mm. Well, you asked and you shall receive. That's right, it's time for the return of the girl chat wheel. Yay! <laughs> As you can see, for season five, our wheel has gotten a bit of a makeover. What do you all think? Look at Ooh, it. It's beautiful. Oh, it is very Dancy. chic. It's all very right. chic. Let me break down yes. how everything works. We asked our real fans on Instagram what you wanted to talk about, and 16 of your topics are up on our girl chat wheel. We'll spin the wheel, and when it lands on a number, we'll open up the corresponding card and discuss your topic. So let's get to it. Kay. I need an audience member to come Kay. down here and spin the wheel. Who is so, that? Me. Tell Who's that? Pick a, pick a name out of the ball. Pick a name, pick a name, pick a name. When you oh hear your goodness, name, oh come oh on down. Okay, okay, who is okay, it? who is it? N.B. Monjok? What you represent? Repping H Town. Okay. Oh, Houston. 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 Houston all day. Okay. Are you ready for the first girl chat topic? Oh, born ready. All right. Okay. Spin that go. wheel, babe. Here we go. Spin Let's the wheel. Let's there, there we go. There you Pull go. down. Good, good one. Pull down. There you go. Yeah. Right. Get your band of black on, girl. Get your band of black on. I That's right. That's it. That's it. That's a good spin. Yeah. You ain't got to spin it that hard next time. Yeah. Sure did. Oh. Okay, here we go. I think it's 13. on 13. 13 is the lucky, lucky number. number 13. 13. Here it is. Okay. Okay. Here we go. This topic was sent in by at Seisha121 from mm -hmm. Renton, Washington. Hey, girl. Hey, what's up? Now, she watches us on Kong 6. Thank you. Seisha wants to talk about the Lonnie Lost Challenge. Woo! Yes. <laughs> oh, I love this. Okay, so I'm a big fan of the Lonnie Lost Challenge. I've been following your weight loss journey all summer. You look Amazing. Amazing. Like, beautiful. Yeah. So good. So I want to know what, tell us, like, what inspired the challenge and your philosophy to just oh my God, get on the weight me. loss. Um, well, <laughs> the thing is, is that uh, when we ended season four, I wanted to do something to inspire weight loss, but I also mm -hmm. wanted to include other people. So I said, well, why don't I just do, like, little videos? So the first week I did videos where I would give people inspiration, and I just wanted people just to touch their toes for 10 minutes. People like me that yeah. normally didn't exercise or either watch what they're eating. I just wanted us to get healthier. And so I did a week, and um, I thought it didn't matter. And then one day I went to an event the following week, and I saw um, Shani O'Neal. Yeah. And Shani O'Neal, she said hi to me, and then we spoke, and then she said, oh, but before we go, I want you to know something. I've been watching your videos, and that has inspired me to start moving. Wow. And I'm like, oh my goodness. So I felt like that was my call, yeah. you know, that, you know, to keep going. So yeah. every week, like every other day, I would do something inspirational. Now, what I've been doing is I've learned that, you know, I started to incorporate more exercise. Yeah. I started the gym really small, like 20 minutes. Now I'm up to an hour. So sure I would is. encourage my followers to also put, and so we do the hashtag Lonnie Lost Challenge. If you go to the hashtag, you'll see Everybody, I mean, it's just phenomenal. All different shapes and sizes, different colors. Everybody is getting healthier. Um, I started cutting out sugars. Now, Tam and I... She inspired yes, me. Yes, we cut now out I sugars. Cut out sugar. When you cut out sugar, and when we say cut out sugar, do something simple, like maybe not have sodas. I mean, yep. you know... Guess what, no Lonnie? Juice. Jeannie's always telling me that. I yeah. haven't had wine, and that Ooh. has lots Ooh. of sugar in it, but I do have vodka. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so you can learn substitutes and stuff. Yep. So, you know, we're going to continue the Lonnie Lost Challenge. <laughs> when I've... we hung out, you were very dedicated to it. And I was like shocked. I'm like, oh my God, she's so disciplined. Yeah. Even yesterday going, we were going to have some mimosas mm -hmm. for lunch. And you were like, no, it's okay. It has sugar in it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My favorite, I was like, yeah. well, well, okay, Lonnie. But I think that's so inspiring. Would you say that starting this also made you be accountable as well? Because you're like, all these people are watching me. Yeah. I got this weight loss challenge. Mm -hmm. Now I have to follow through. You know, because it'd be some haters. We ain't even seen no difference. I'm what? Like, so no that's why way. you put the That's why you put the pictures up. And yeah. it's the thing. 10 pounds is one dress size. 
So wow. I lost 15 pounds, so that's why now I'm wow. one dress size nice. lower. I, I see love it. your waist, Thank you. Connie. The waist is the first to go for exactly. you. And that's so lucky because you have a beautiful hourglass shape. I love, there was one post that you said, it doesn't matter what you do, just go outside and do it. Yes. If you like to walk, if you like to talk on the phone, get outside and walk and combine that with some type of movement. It just takes 30 minutes a day to exactly. see a difference, and that's so cool. And you Lonnie, know? I just have to say, you're doing it the right way. Yes. You're not doing yes. like a crazy diet fad. Yeah. And you know, sometimes it may take a little bit longer to yeah. lose the weight, but they actually say the quicker you lose the weight is actually the quicker you actually gain it so back true. if you do those fat and diets. And it's really about getting healthier. Health it's not yes. so much about the weight loss, it's about getting healthier, especially people of color. You guys, your blood pressure, you know, the cholesterol, you gotta look at your numbers and we yeah. have to fight that. Yes. So I also yeah, wanna give a shout out to, um, a shout out to Leslie Ramos who came to our show this week. She told me about her journey. Check out the video. This summer I was going through a lot of emotional stuff and I started just hearing you on Instagram and seeing your videos and it inspired me to change the way I ate, the way I exercised and took care of myself. And how and much did you lose, girl? So far, 40 pounds. Oh my goodness, thank you so much. That was so sweet of you to tell me that. You look great and you keep doing it. Awesome. Yeah, go to the hashtag Lonnie Lost Challenge. You'll see a lot of stories, a lot of transformations. We're going to keep doing it throughout the whole season, okay? That's We're going to hold right. each other accountable. Yes. Right. <laughs> okay, it's time for a new topic. MB, spin that wheel. Not so hard, girl. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, that's good. That's good. That was really good. Okay, we are hitting a two. Number seven. Seven. Two to seven. seven. Here it is. Okay, let's see. Okay, so this topic was sent in by At Las Foster yep. from Loma Linda, California, who watches Loma us Linda. on Fox 11. All right. Hey. Um, she wants us to talk about Jeffrey Owens and his honest job and what jobs we've had between gigs. Is that awesome? Okay, so for okay. those who may have forgotten uh, the Cosby Show actor Jeffrey Owens, who I actually love, by the way. He was recently photographed without his consent working at Trader Joe's grocery store. Once the photos went viral, Jeffrey was met with an outpouring of support from people including Tyler Perry, who actually offered Jeffrey a 10-episode role on his own show, The Haves and the Have Nots. So ladies, did you work any interesting jobs to help make ends meet? Oh yeah, all the, I mean, I worked, you know, at my day job for eight years and I mm -hmm. did comedy mm -hmm. at night. And then I wouldn't, I, then once I even quit, you know, because once I quit my day job, you had to have time to um, actually pursue and go out and do auditions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was only making $25 to $100, you know, for my comedy gigs. Mm -hmm. So I would do side jobs, like, you know, work at a grocery store. I worked at grocery stores. Uh, I delivered papers. I sold insurance. I did Mary Kay. Wow. I did all of that. And it you took You were me... a Mary Kay lady? I was the worst Mary Kay <laughs> lady. I was just messing up. I could never get the colors right. Really? People, yeah, I, yeah, I had to stop. I would never get my pink Cadillac, so. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, it's, yeah, I've had all types of jobs. All types God, of jobs. Now, okay. you do what you gotta do when you need to eat. You know, absolutely. absolutely. That is true. That's it. Yeah, you know? absolutely. I remember. When I was living in San Jose, um, when I was 12, I worked for my uncle's um, joyeria. He had a jewelry store. Mm -hmm. And it was like in this really cute like town that had a lot of Hispanics. And I remember going next door and I would eat these amazing Mexican sandwiches. They were so good. And then I would take them home and I'd put sriracha in them. And the owner was like, what are you putting in my sandwiches? And I was like, try it. It's so bomb. And it was like, these are good. Why don't you come and help me make sandwiches? I'll pay you by the hour. I was like, wow. make some extra money than my, my uncle's paying me? Okay. Nothing. Sure. <laughs> so I went there and it was my first time I learned how to make tamales, I learned how to make tortas, I learned how to speak Spanish. I was like, Her Spanish you know, is very impressive. Really? Yes. I mean, it's select word. Barato, barato. <laughs> you know, comer aquí. Agua fresca aquí con mi chinita. It was like, <laughs> it's fun. It was fun. It was a good time. Oh, no, That's no. awesome. What about you, eh? Uh, okay, I started working from the age of 14, obviously, yeah. in yes. entertainment, but before that, 
I actually worked at a hair salon. Shout out to Dominican Hair Salon Fantasy oh. on Clinton Street. Yeah. It was called Fantasy, and I used to sweep the floor so that I could get a fresh blowout every week. And they also would do my nails. Arsenia and Socorro, I love you guys. Oh, They're amazing. Awesome. They're still there. Fantasy is still oh. in my... And now I think it's called Alta Gracia, but it used to be called Fantasy. Oh, and wow. I used to sweep the floors. Wow. Wait, have you gone back there since? I went maybe a year and a half ago, two years, but I haven't seen them since. But when I go back to New York, I will go say oh, that's hi. Awesome. Oh, all right. I love okay, those you people. Guys. Fun fact. What? what? So after Sister Sister ended, obviously, so did the Jacks. Right. Um, <laughs> and I was like, okay. I went to you know college, finished that a little bit, and then I really wasn't booking anything. Yeah. So you know what, you guys? I actually filled out um, uh, a questionnaire for becoming a kindergartner. Uh, kindergartner school teacher. Oh my I God. was going no to teach I kindergarten, totally you guys. Doing that. I filled out everything and I was getting ready because I studied, my major was psychology and um, had an emphasis on um, childhood development. Yeah. So that would help me teach in a private uh, kindergarten school. But then, right as I was filling it out, no joke, you guys, I got a call to audition for a Lifetime show called Strong Medicine. Oh. <laughs> and oh. I got another job. Yeah. So yeah. thank God. Yeah. But I wasn't afraid to just, yeah. like, try something new, yeah. you know? That's yeah. so cool. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to Jeffrey Owens. He handled yes. it like a champ. Yes. You know what I mean? And I'm glad he's getting the opportunities now that he's getting. So. One of my favorite stories in the news. That exactly. was so cool. Never something forget that. Something that was supposed to be for his fault, for his downfall, yeah. actually ended up being something Look that turned out for him. Look at God. He'll turn it around. Yep. Yep. <laughs> we have to take a break. Don't turn around just yet. Stick around. We'll be right back. We've been waiting to say all summer long. It's Friday! Party time! Plus, we've got your money. $1,000! Then, Megan Good takes the couch. I'm like, what? The Rio. Smoothing hair care from Whole Blend. Blended with purpose for hair that hates humidity. Bringing rich coconut oil, a legendary smoother, together with cocoa butter, known to soften. As a whole blend, it smooths frizz for 24 hours. Blended makes us better. Whole Blends. On Tuesday afternoon, Linda discovered the Chex Mix combination of one corn Chex, one rye chip, and two pretzel pieces. Then she won 27000 on scratchers. Coincidence? Yes. But now she calls it Money Mix, and we're okay with that. Pick your mix with Chex Mix. Discover Magnum Double Caramel. Expertly crafted with silky vanilla bean ice cream and rich Belgian chocolate. Take pleasure seriously. At MetroPCS, everyone's celebrating an amazing deal. Switch now and get your choice of three free phones from great brands. Plus get a third line with unlimited high-speed data free. MetroPCS, wireless figured out. I'm a big kid now. I'm a big kid now. Look what I can do. Walk and talk and play, there's always something new. Went from baby bottles to drinking from sippy cups. Went from wearing diapers to rocking these fresh pull ups. They fit like underwear with great protection, too. So bring it all on. Number one, number two, it's how big kids are made. We're 50 million strong. So put on your pull ups and help us sing this song. We're 50 million strong. I'm a big, I'm a big kid now. I'm a big kid now. Lily, she pretty much lives in her favorite princess dress. But once a week, I let her play sheriff so I can wash it. I use Tide to get out those weak old stains and Downy to get it fresh and soft. You are free to go. Tide and Downy together. KFC presents the new 10-piece chicken piece for only $19.99, featuring two large mashed potatoes and four biscuits with a whopping 10 pieces of chicken. Get it all for only $19.99 before it's gone. KFC, it's finger licking good. To the real, the girl chat wheel is back today, and we're discussing all of your topics. Our lovely audience member MB is helping us out today, so let's not waste any more time. MB, spin that wheel, girl. Yes, and give it a midway spin. All right. Yeah. You don't want to spin around the way no more. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that was a little too much. Maybe. You're doing a great job, girl. Okay. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> this topic was sent in by Ann Weaver 
14 from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, who okay. watches us on Fox 29. What's up, Fox 29? Hey, Chili. And wants us to talk about George Zimmerman and the Trayvon Martin documentary. Wow. Uh, the, the final installment of Jay-Z and the Paramount Network's documentary, Rest in Power, the Trayvon Martin story, if you haven't seen it, it's a wonderful a docu-series. Yeah. It aired last week. And one specific thing that has a lot of people angry is footage shown in the film of George Zimmerman acting like a celebrity following his acquittal in Trayvon's murder case. Now, the footage shows Zimmerman going so far as to sign bags wow. of Skittles oh for God. his admirers. Skittles. Of course, being what Trayvon... Um, it, Tray, it was the Skittles is what Trayvon was holding the night that George Zimmerman Jesus. shot him down. Yes. So, he's signing Skittles. He's going to these events. Confederate flag. He's signing yeah, Confederate, Confederate flag. flag. He's trolling the family. People, do you remember? He has a mother. He has a brother. He has a mm -hmm. father. He has family. So every time this man is out here doing this, that is just adding on to the hurt that this man got yeah. off for killing a and human being, a whole human being. Yeah. Okay. And it shows such. Disgusting yes. signs of disrespect. Yeah, it's very disrespectful. And, and no sign of remorse. Of like, I have to be honest, like, as a human being, God forbid, even if someone entered my home and I had to defend myself and possibly shoot, if they were trying to literally murder me, I would feel terrible that I killed a person yep. in general. Right. Like, I would feel so awful that I took someone else's life, even if it wasn't my self-defense, which, my personal opinion, that was not the case here, but I... I I think that boy was not trying to harm nobody, but that's yep. just my personal opinion. But even if, God forbid, if it was someone that was trying to kill me and I shot them, I would feel, t I would have nightmares about that. I would feel terrible. I would pray to God, like, God, I'm so, I feel so terrible. I've taken someone's yeah. life. I don't yeah. care who it was, if it was a bad person. It was, you took someone's life. And to see that he has no remorse at all for that. Instead, he's almost like, What's that, gloating? He's, glo he's like, yeah. he's trolling glorifying. and he's gloating. He's glorifying it and making it look like, yeah, I'm so cool. And what's wrong with you people bringing him Skittles? What's wrong yep. with the people that want him to sign, that are looking at him? What is wrong with you? Yeah. You're happy? I don't care what race you are. A human is a human is a human, and that's disgusting. Yeah. Like, I'm, like I have no words. Yeah. Yes, and what makes me... Ugh. Obviously, this is just disgusting behavior. But what I think of is that, you know, God sees and he knows all. Mm -hmm. And karma is real. Revengeance is his, saith the Lord. So he's going to reap what he is sowing yes. right now. Yes. And it's not going to be pretty. Well, God's going to take care of that. I, I don't understand why that man is still walking around. I, I, I really I, don't. I have such... I have such a hard time too. With, with, with the concept of it. I know the name of it is the no man's... Go ahead, Lonnie. I know you know what it is. What? what? The name of the law that allows him to be free. Stand your ground. Oh, stand your ground. There you yeah. go. Okay. Stand, stand your, ground. your ground law. I have such a hard time with this, and I get it that they let him off because there is a law in place in Florida that says that if somebody comes on your property, I guess you can, or you yeah. feel yep. like you need to defend yourself. This just seems so, and I have such a hard time with this, and this just takes it to a whole other level when the person doesn't show that they're remorseful. You would think anyone would say, man, I had to shoot a kid. Yeah. Like, that's terrible. Well, I wonder, I, I kind of often wonder, too, how the jurors feel now that they let him yes, off. And, and that he's doing that. And that happening. he's doing this. I would love to, you know. Because well, that shows that he, he didn't care. Yeah. Well, one person who's seen enough and decided to speak out this week is our friend Gary Owen, who had this to say on his Instagram. I'm not a violent person. Never been in a real fist fight in my life walk away from any any kind of situation where I feel like it's going to get physical. But if I see that dude ever in public, I'm going to punch him in the face. Same. I get it. I get it. I'll tell you I something, Gary. I understand. Gary, I got, I got your bail, bruh. Okay? I got your bail. All right? On that, we have to take a break, but there's more girl chat coming up after this. You watching the real.
right now. Yeah. Tell, I know this is something you just went through, right? Yeah. So tell us about it. First it, time. It whooped my ass, I'll tell you that. <laughs> it was, it's no joke. I am a first time kindergarten mom. And wow. I think the hard part for me is, is I didn't realize actually out the gate how much homework they actually yeah. give your five-year-old. Homework? Homework, yes. girl. Yes. In kindergarten? Like a folder. In a folder. <laughs> yes. And the hardest thing was trying to get my five-year-old to like sit down for 10, 15 minutes. That is so hard to do because his attention is like all over the place. Jeannie and then he had you in stereo on folder because she went with you, right? Yes, yes. yes. And yes. then the other thing is, is this is when you really start teaching your children like the fundamental skills of life. Like my son loves Power Rangers, but he thinks he's one on the recess ramp. <laughs> so he literally one time kicked a kid in the head, and I was like, oh, geez, Aiden, why did you do that? He said, well, he was being horrible to another boy, so I just wanted to save the day. And I was like, Aiden, you can't be a Power Ranger. And then the other time, him and his friends were playing. And the a... kid was OK. Oh, the kid's yes, OK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, 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 he's fine. Uh, the other time is he was, him and his friends were playing shark, and then. Oh, yeah. I remember this, this is one. funny. Let's you guys, what shark? Like, I don't know. They made it they up. Made up. They, they made up a game, and they do that. They just make. He up stuff. actually bit the kid, and uh, all the all the te the teachers and the parents were like, "What is going on? Why are these kids going around biting each other?" And they were like, "Well, we were playing the game shark," and I'm like, <laughs> "Aiden, you can't play the game shark at school." So I think. There's just a lot going on, and he has to learn structure. Like, you act a certain way at home with your friends, and you act a certain way at school. Now, what about Araya? She started school. She did. Show her picture. Show, Show her my picture. Baby. Show Araya my baby did start picture. school. Um, Araya Look at my baby. Look, I taught her that pose. Araya, she I was taught actually, her that pose. she was posing. That, she uh, that she knew she looked good that day. Mm -hmm. She actually loves, she loves school. It was just hard for me to see her go to preschool because that's my baby. Yeah. Did she yeah. cry like, or was like, no, she Oh, was no, crying. she was like, bye, mommy. And yeah, I was the one that started crying. Because, she was a mess. Yeah, I was a mess because that's my last one. They're both growing up and you're sending them into the world and it's sometimes hard to trust other people with your children, yeah. so I'm learning to let go. Yeah. 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 Wow. That's life. You gotta yeah. learn to let go. Life. I had such a cool experience because I don't have kids and I don't know if I'll ever experience what that first time motherhood is like, and so I asked him a lot of questions, and you were so kind. She invited me to come and spend a normal day seeing her in normal mom mode, <laughs> and she w you were strict with me. The night before, she was like, Jeannie Mai, at 7 a.m. you show up at my house. If you don't, wheels up, we're out the door, and you're missing school. You have school. to be. Kids can't be I late. like, yes. Right? So I came in, and I thought she'd be in pajamas, like, oh, you know, no, no, food no. flying everywhere. Tam at 7 o'clock already had her workout gear on. Why? Because she had already worked out at yep. 5. Yep. Both kids fully dressed, hair done. She was putting the last finishing touches on Aiden's curls. Uh -huh. um, Aiden, <laughs> Araya had a full pressed outfit with like a French twist I braid them thing going on. Backpacks were full, <laughs> lunches in, everything was done. And she was like, get in the car. Then she hangs out, she has her coffee, and then waits and then comes and picks them up after school. And it's amazing to see you That's in that just mode. Being a mom. I love it. It's so I love cool. It. Thank you. She's, a, she's a great mom. Not only a talk show host, she's a mother. Yes, yes she, she is. is. The worst <laughs> <super> mother. <laughs> We gotta go. We love you so much, Sam. <laughs> That's all that we have time for Girl Chat today. And me. Held it down, girl. You part of our real fan. Thank you for spinning the wheel with us today.
window. Okay. Well, but, maybe this can help. Okay? Yeah, and don't forget to get a little something. Get a little something for your mom, too, when you're in the checkout stand. <laughs> okay. I love it. Well, congratulations again, Candace. We hope everything goes well for you. Hold on. What? Hold on. What happened? Hold on. What? Jaden, I'm your Auntie Lonnie. We're your aunties. We're going to get you that Nintendo, okay? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Nintendo oh Switch. My gosh, oh my gosh. So cute. Aww, Thank so you guys cute. so much. You guys are awesome. We love you, Jaden. We love you. We love you. You deserve it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And you be there for your mommy, okay? You be a good boy. You stay in school. Good things happen, okay? We love you very much. And please keep in touch with us, all right? That's right. For all of you guys watching, the final Dalla Holla back of our premiere week is tomorrow. We'll be calling your name. You have to tune in to find out. We'll be right back with our girl, Issa Rae. You're watching The Real. Up next, from the show everyone is talking about, Insecure, Issa Rae is here. I'm making sure that I spread the message of gratitude. We are so proud to welcome writer, producer, and actress Issa Rae. Welcome to the 
was show. Now, your father was a doctor. Your mother was a teacher. You graduated from Stanford University. Woo, woo, woo. Yeah. In American Studies, a minor in political science. How did your parents feel about you pursuing a career in entertainment? Oh, my mom was all for it. She was just like, as long as you're not asking me for money. <laughs> and my dad, he had to wrap his head around it a little bit more. He was just mm -hmm. like, you know, you're going to, you go to college, you get a degree, and that's it. Then you can do whatever you want, you know? And he always thought that I needed to have a, a backup plan. He was like, mm -hmm. the entertainment industry will always be here. School will not. Right. And I was mm -hmm. like, that's kind of backwards. Schools have been around. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a, a big window, so he's cool with it now. He still would love for me to go to grad school, though. Really? Okay. Love yep. that. Education. That would be amazing. I'm not going. You You're like, I'm not going. I'm not having it. It seems to be I'm working done. out just great for you. <laughs> yeah, now, the entertainment industry is super tough. Have you ever gotten any, like, what's the best advice you've gotten for being in the entertainment industry? Um, Definitely from some, some boss woman, just don't be afraid to be a bitch. Yeah, oh, yes. 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 Keep it real. Yes. Well, you know, yes. Have you ever used this advice? <laughs> I've, you know, I'm, I love everyone, and I've, I've used it in the sense that I'm not, you know, sometimes you feel like you want to be too nice and you don't want to yeah. make anybody upset. Mm -hmm. and, yes. and in that sense, I have just like, you know, if you want to get something done, you can't be afraid to ruffle feathers. Like, right. if, it's, if it's part of your vision, because I think as women, we, we tend to think about that, like how we're perceived. Mm -hmm. And you don't want someone to write you off. So in that sense, yes. But have I been like mean, excessively mean to anybody? No, not that I know of. Yeah. Yeah, but, I don't see it happening. Yeah. You just seem like a good person, <laughs> but you would tell someone how you feel. Yes, I and think that so. can be construed as being a bitch, just being honest and being vocal. Very, yeah. very true. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so your billboard for the new season of Insecure is everywhere. Yes. Love it. I love yes. it. Awesome. Thank you. Is, Thank you. Is there ever a moment when? What was that? that moment when you finally realized, oh my gosh, I'm famous. Oh, <laughs> uh, there was a moment when I was coming back, I was <laughs> out of the airport for, um, I landed at Sundance in Utah, mm -hmm. and um, this paparazzi, I heard him behind me when I was waiting for my luggage, and he was like, oh, that's Issa Rae, and I was like, oh, here it is, paparazzi knows my name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then I turned around, and he ran to go take a picture of someone that was not me. It was. <laughs> The no. wrong person. It was another actress that he it was thought a black, was, a black, was a black woman. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I thought I was famous, but you know, I still got a long way okay. to go. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But you're not just famous for sure. You are absolutely also a cover girl. Yeah. Yes. Which is honestly to me, like that's yeah. next level. Yep. You know what I mean? So what was that like for you, like when you found that out? I was just like super honored. I was like, oh shit, this face? Like you want this face to sell makeup? Great. <laughs> uh, yes. Oh, that's um, awesome. Yeah. But it was just, you know, like being a little girl and you know, we all grew up with certain self-esteem issues. So to be able to like be approached by them to be like, yes, we think that you're you're a cover girl and you're cover girl material. You know, I don't take that lightly. And I think about all the younger girls who we're like me, flipping through magazines yes. and being like, I don't look like any of these people. There's yep. not, not a chance. And that, and that way, I really feel just honored and blessed. That's good. You know, you have so many fans of your work. What's the most awkward fan encounter you've ever had? Man, there, a lot of them happen in the bathroom. I don't know what's up with <laughs> really? that. Like, through the stall, like, people want to talk to me. And I'm just like, and it's like through, talking to me through, like, pee driplets. <laughs> oh, gee, And I'm like, ah. Yeah, yeah, thank you so much. I'm glad you watched it. Can I finish peeing? Okay. Um, but yeah, we're taking pictures in the bathroom. I, I do I do have to like decline pictures in the bathroom because I don't want like, you know, the toilet. bathroom yeah, yeah. toilet sounds. I don't know. I would hear it. it, yeah. it, it Just looking at the picture. photo. Yeah. Yeah. Your fans like, are like, really hardcore though, because when they found out or they thought that, that Lawrence was no longer gonna oh be Lord. on the show. They started writing petitions and freaking out to make sure that he would come back to the show. So I have to ask, have any of your exes low-key been petitioning to get back in your life since your career <laughs> and your life is know. popping? They should have. Really? <laughs> See you doing well, you know. I see you doing good. And I'm like, yeah, without you. Yes. I'm doing great. But no, I mean, like, I, I've remained cool with um, some of my exes. And it's just like, no, I don't want to, I don't really like to go backwards. So That's we're right. good. That's right. Onward. That's right. Keep it pushing. Don't go anywhere, anywhere. Because when we come back, we're going to talk some more with Issa Rae and get the scoop on this season of Insecure. I can't wait. I love it. You're watching the video.
Raising the guns for our voices. United we stand, shared in differences. The future of our country is in our hands. Yeah, I hear you. <laughs> You're so what? I would so be a sis if I can oh, do it stop. like that. Sure Tall do that to me and be like, take off your hands. <laughs> <laughs> you do not need to be so. It worked in it. Huh? It worked in Every time. <laughs> yeah, I hear ya. So I'm going to be in a box okay. with Casey and the anchors before my shot. So okay. I got to remember what I'm going to say and not laugh. I really am, though, because that's just not cool, especially in the heat. Yeah. The council meeting is just getting started again. It stopped completely. How does my new shirt look on TV? Minus the pull. I mean, I really can't tell too much. It's just like one of the colors that the lady was like, you need to wear. Yeah, it, looks good. Colors. it looks good? Yeah. How do the shoulders look? Do I look like a linebacker? Not really. Not really? Mm -hmm. Because if it looks good, I'm going to order more. Yeah. Because um, they're so cheap, they're basically disposable. Yeah. And I'll just get, this is a small, but I'll get an extra small or an extra, extra say, small. It's like, let's see what's on, what I can see on my screen, but like, I can see it. Live, local, late breaking. This is WDSU News at noon. Exchanging the guns for our voices. United we stand, shared in differences. The future of our country is in our hands. First at noon, students from New Orleans high schools lead a march to City Hall this morning, calling on city leaders to stand with them to fight violence. Good afternoon, I'm Charles Dimmons. And I'm Gina Swanson. Thank you for joining us. WDSU's Casey Ferran is at City Hall where that march ended today. Casey. Yeah, it was a pretty lively march here at the steps of the City Hall as hundreds of students from across the city came together 
all with one common goal to lift their voice and stand up and speak against gun violence that's plaguing their communities. Now, this student-led citywide march actually started at the Superdome. It was uh, in response to the shooting death of 15-year-old McMain student Chance Smith. Students from uh, schools like Edna Carr High School, Landry Walker, Alice Hart, Warren Easton, Andrew Wilson, Kip Schools, St. Aug, and St. Mary's Academy all began that march at the Superdome this morning. About 800 students then made their way here to City Hall with the Edna Carr Band leading the way. Then they held a rally outside with students speaking, uh, bringing awareness to the gun violence affecting their communities. All must come together and show the strength of a unified city to accomplish a goal for the betterment of us all. The youth of New Orleans must and will set an example of what will happen when we decide that enough is enough. So you all have planned to march on City Hall to stand united as one for peace in the city of New Orleans. And I believe if we continue to stand and work together, that we collectively will make a difference throughout the city of New Orleans. And Mayor Cantrell asked these students to also lend their voices and their ideas to a, a task force aimed at ending gun violence throughout the city. She's also asking these students to speak up when they see things in their neighborhood, embrace others, and also communicate effectively. Reporting at City Hall, I'm Casey Ferrand, WDSU News. Casey, thank you. We were also inside council chambers this morning when those teens addressed the city council. Yeah, and their words causing today's meeting to completely shut down for a period of time. WDSU's Jennifer Crockett is live just outside the council chambers with that part of the story. Jennifer. Well, the council members are back in their seat and the meeting is back underway now, but it got shut down completely whenever every member of the New Orleans City Council got up and walked out of City Hall. It happened right after that testimony that Casey just told you. The members said that they were so inspired by the testimony of those six teens from different high schools about the effects of gun violence that they wanted to stand with them and address the hundreds more students that marched to City Hall this morning. Here are some of the powerful words that got those council members on their feet. A dying. The next victim could be me, anybody at this table, anybody that wa I walk in the halls with. That's scary for a New Orleans child to go through. That's something that shouldn't be normal. Kids who had families, friends, and loved ones, including my brother, Tyreek Sparks. He was only 18 years old when he was murdered. I have to ask all of you here today, gathered here today, aren't you all tired? Because I know my brothers at St. Aug are tired. Such powerful words, and the answer to that question was a resounding yes. Those students, they want interventions put into New Orleans high schools to counsel at-risk youth and also to give them a path away from gun violence. The council asked those teens to form an advisory committee and let them know just exactly what they need and how they can get it done. Reporting live at City Hall, I'm Jennifer Crockett, WDSU News. Jennifer, thank you. As the City Council and City Planning Commission contemplate major changes to existing regulations, the Short-Term Rental Committee is hosting a citywide public forum tonight. The focus is on the impacts that the short-term rentals uh, have had on neighborhoods, housing, and communities. Speakers will cover a variety of issues, including data analysis and current proposed regulations. The committee is inviting all New Orleans residents to share their thoughts. It will be at Corpus Christi Epiphany Community Resource Center. It starts at six. Well, NOLA Housing NOLA is releasing its assessment of the city today. The 2018 report card will be released at a panel discussion hosted by Life City. The Love Your City Hour will feature affordable housing advocates and community stakeholders. They will talk about the successes and challenges of providing high quality, safe, accessible and affordable housing to families in New Orleans. The event will be at the historic Carver Theater. It starts at 530. And a traffic alert to pass along today. The Florida Avenue Bridge is closed for the next week. The bridge closed at 6 this morning to repair a sewer main on the lower 9th Ward side of the Industrial Canal. That work is expected to be complete a week from tomorrow on Friday, September 28th. Drivers will be directed toward the North Claiborne Avenue Bridge throughout these repairs. However, the bridge will remain open to marine 
and rail traffic. And it's one of those days where you are definitely rolling with the top up and the windows up and the air conditioner on. Another <laughs> hot day here in the Custom City to take a live look outside. There's a live look, Charles. All that sunshine. If there's some good news, it is that temperatures are about three degrees cooler. Woo. <laughs> than at this oh, time yesterday. Thank I know. You. So we had to take the small victories that we went <laughs> yeah. today, but we still have that potential for lots of heat. Right now we have the radar and that's showing mainly dry conditions. A few showers out there, mainly south of the metro, so near La Rose and cut off also down into Golden Meadow. Then as we check around Plaquemines Parish, a few showers right around uh, Boothville. So we are looking at temperatures as well, and we have a really hot setup right now. 89 for Slidell, 93 in Galliana, but we still have some upper 80s on the metro. At. The bill, it, the deal is that we have the heat index values, which are in the triple digits right now. So the fill right now at the Kenner Airport 102, the fill of 104 for Galliana. Moving throughout the day, still expect lots of heat. Rain chances will start to drop off just a bit as we see those temperatures um, eventually moving into the middle and upper 90s for a couple isolated spots potentially. But I think most of us will start to drop into the upper 80s by 5 o'clock. 81 by 11 overnight. Most of us will settle back down into the around the uh, 80 degree mark as we move into the early morning hours of Friday. Now something's on the way for us and that's for pretty much everybody in the northern hemisphere and that is fall. Fall begins Saturday night 854. So again we'll be watching out for a potential cold front next week. We'll have more on that coming up. Gina and Charles back to you. Hi, right, Quillen. Thanks. New at noon, a second man responsible in the 2015 death of a dissolvent woman in New Orleans East has been convicted. A New Orleans jury found Troy Varnado Jr. guilty of second degree murder, second degree kidnapping and obstruction of justice in the killing of Lindsay Nichols. Varnado will receive a mandatory life sentence on October 30th. This conviction closely follows that of co-defendant Theon Sampson. He pleaded guilty to an amended charge of manslaughter earlier this month in exchange for a 40 year sentence. Well, as Senate Judiciary Chairman Chuck Grassley has set the deadline for 10 a.m. Friday for Christine Blasley Ford's legal team to respond to a request to speak to his committee. And then Ford says Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh sexually assaulted her when they were teenagers. Abby Phillips has the latest on the battle over Kavanaugh's nomination. Senate Judiciary Committee Chairman Chuck Grassley setting an ultimatum for Judge Brett Kavanaugh's accuser, Professor Christine Blasey Ford, telling Democrats that Ford and her lawyer have until 10 a.m. tomorrow to let the committee know whether she will testify at a hearing Monday about her sexual assault allegations, claims Kavanaugh denies. Well, I'm not worried about anything other than just focusing for the next few days on encouraging her to come. Grassley rejecting Ford's call for an FBI investigation, but giving her the option of a public or private hearing and offering to send his staff to California to speak with her directly. Ford's attorneys responding in a statement to the media, writing the committee's stated plan to move forward with a hearing that has only two witnesses is not a fair or good faith investigation. The rush to a hearing is unnecessary and contrary to the committee discovering the truth. Ford's lawyers also reiterating that Ford needs time to deal with ongoing threats. She has been dealing with hate mail, harassment, death threats. So she's been spending her time trying to figure out how to put her life back together, how to protect herself and her family. Sources tell CNN that if Professor Ford chooses not to testify, the hearing will likely be scrapped and a confirmation vote could occur next week. President Trump growing more vocal in his defense of Kavanaugh. He is such an outstanding man. Very hard for me to imagine that anything happened. But also encouraging Ford to testify. If she shows up, that would be wonderful. If she doesn't show up, that would be unfortunate. Ford's resistance prompting skepticism from some Republicans who had initially called for a hearing. I don't think she can reject having made all of these serious allegations. I don't think that she can reject all those options. I think it's not fair to Judge Kavanaugh for her not to come forward and testify. Both of them need to testify under oath. Democrats accusing Republicans of trying to rush Kavanaugh's confirmation before the midterm elections. Leader McConnell delayed the filling of Justice Scalia's seat for 10 months. And now they're saying we can't take an additional few weeks to get the truth at a very serious allegation. What hypocrisy. And throwing their support behind Ford's request for an investigation. Dr. Ford is being reasonable. 
I think she needs to have the respect of the committee to let this play out. She is being bullied by this committee. It's outrageous. All right, so to come at noon, if you are making burgers anytime soon, you may want to check your package of ground beef. After the break, we'll tell you about a health scare that's already left one person dead. And if you ever wondered why it's so hard to get affordable tickets for big shows, well, we'll tell you how the world's biggest box office may be working against you. Those details coming up. There's a live look outside on your Thursday afternoon. Get closer and closer to the weekend. It's almost here. We'll be right back. More than 130,000 pounds of ground beef products are being recalled. Cargill Meat Solutions is recalling the products due to a possible E. coli contamination. The U.S. Department of Agriculture says the meat has been identified in an investigation into an outbreak which resulted in 17 illnesses and one death. The recalled beef products were packaged and produced on July 21st and carry an EST 86R label inside the USDA mark. Officials say these products should be thrown away and returned to the place of purchase. You can find a full list of the recalled products at WDSU.com. Okay, if you've ever wondered why it's so hard to get affordable tickets for big shows, this next story may shed some light on that. An undercover investigation finds that the world's biggest box office company, Ticketmaster, has a secret program. The company actually recruits scalpers and makes extra money off their sales. Reporter Dave Selkins has the story. This hidden camera footage is from inside a meeting of the world's biggest ticket scalpers. Las Vegas this summer. CBC went undercover posing as a small time broker from Toronto. We found Ticketmaster recruiting, promoting a secret program that helps scalpers resell large volumes. And they become pretty good partners for me, you know, doing half a million or whatever. So half a million dollars or half a million tickets? In sales. So, in total yeah. sales. But is Ticketmaster looking out for cheats? The scalpers who use fake identities to buy up tickets. I want to know the straight goods on whether Ticketmaster is going to be policing us using our multiple accounts. Uh, no. I have, I have a gentleman who's got over 200 Ticketmaster.com accounts. How many brokers are using multiple accounts? I say pretty damn near every one of them. I think they have to because if you, you want to get a good show at the ticket limit six or eight, you're not going to make a living on eight, eight tickets. 
So that's Ticketmaster telling us that they have brokers who have hundreds of Ticketmaster fake accounts and they don't care that they're using those fake accounts to buy up all the tickets and then repost them for resale so long as Ticketmaster's getting a cut, of course. Uh, there's been whispers of this in the ticket selling uh, community, um, but it's never been outlined quite like this before. Hey, it's Alan Cross and a new season of... We Ongoing showed veteran music journalist events. Alan Cross our Come videos. So after. people will look at this and see this is, as a form of collusion, that on one hand they say, um, you know, we don't like bots, we're not using bots, but on the other hand, we have all these clients who may use bots. Uh, it does seem a bit stinky, doesn't it? CBC News asked Ticketmaster about Vegas. Well, the company refused to talk about it, wouldn't acknowledge its scalper program, even when told that reporters had caught it all on camera. Dave Seglin, CBC News, Las Vegas. Activist turned author Elizabeth Smart was in Pennsylvania Wednesday promoting her latest book. Now the book details her being held in captivity as a teenager and how she managed to survive. One of the people responsible for Smart's kidnapping, Wanda Barzi, was released from a Utah prison. In her first public response following her captor's release, Smart focused on the bigger picture. It certainly has been a roller coaster of emotion and at the same time, I've received an outpouring of love, of support, of prayers, and I so appreciate it. It makes such a huge difference to me, and I just think the best thing that all of us can do, that I will continue to be, that I hope everyone else continues to be, is vigilant in protecting our families, our friends, our communities. And local media says Barzi now lives in a Utah motel. Well, a security breach at Orlando Melbourne International Airport forced a lockdown this morning. According to officials, just about 2 a.m., an authorized individual boarded an empty commercial jet parked near the maintenance facility. Airport officials say they believe the individual was an airline flight student. The person was removed from the plane and is being questioned by authorities. Flights were suspended until 7 a.m. Airport officials say the safety procedures in place worked just as they were designed to. As you can see today, everything went according to plan and we were able to secure the airport within minutes and to, to secure the subject within minutes. An investigation is underway to determine the suspect's motives. Well, let's take a live look outside. If you happen to be traveling by air out of the Crescent City today, there's some clouds in the sky, but uh, let's see if those clouds are going to bring us any rain today. Quillen. Well, good news for air travelers. No major storms over the area, which will keep you on the ground. Good news there. We're going to see a chance for showers. We're seeing some of those already, Charles, but it's very limited right now, only 10 to 20 percent early afternoon. This is the bright spot of the day. Temperatures compared to this time yesterday, Three degrees cooler right now at the airport in Kenner, four degrees cooler in Hammond. So uh, we do have some still warmer spots out there. Galliano and Grandal. Remember this time yesterday we had some storms firing along the coast. Dry conditions mainly there now. Highs today, lower 90s. The heat index still climbing to 100 to 108 plus. So the triple digit feels above and beyond those actual temperatures. A wetter weekend on the way. Not a washout, but more scattered storms move back into the forecast today. The average high is 87. The record is 96 will be closer to that record this afternoon that was set in 2015. Another live look out there with lots of sun, 90 degrees at the airport in Kenner, and the feels like temperature 103. The winds have picked up, so we get a little bit of mixing right now, and thankfully, visibility is much improved. Temperatures around the area, upper 80s and low 90s, but again, the feel of the 100 plus mark right now. Grand Dal at 102, 102 for Bogalusa as well. I mentioned the spotty showers. Here they are on the south shore, popping up over Lafouche. Those are it mainly to the north. We have a cold front or a stationary front to the north as well around the Plains states. Also some showers back and in from the Rocky Mountains into the Plains, but dry conditions all across the east and also through the central United States. That dry air keeping us on the hotter side and also keeping us dry. We're going to still see that chance for spotty storms through the early afternoon, uh, late afternoon, early evening. This is seven o'clock. We do have some high school football games tonight. Think you'll be good to go this evening. Overnight, some patchy fog developing. Friday, a chance for storms. Best afternoon tomorrow. And again, those will continue for a good part of the day part hours as we get into evening. Again, more high school games at 7. Those look pretty good as well for Friday. Moving into the weekend, the rain chances go up. We're counting down to fall. 
two days away, Saturday, 854 PM. Where is the fall weather? Many of you asking. Well, indications we're going to get a cold front in here next week. And so by Thursday morning, that front should be pushing through the North Shore and by the coast uh, at the coast by around Thursday morning. If that happens, we could have some 60s on the North Shore Thursday morning and 70s on the South Shore, lower 70s Thursday morning. Still some questions on timing. Gina and Charles are back there in the testimony department. They're really hoping for that too. I know you are probably as well. Uh, what we're not hoping for is an active tropics. Right now we have some areas that we're watching a 20% chance here of potential development, a 40% chance in the next five days at that area in the central Atlantic could develop. Let's start with this area that has a lingering chance of developing into late tonight. After tonight, it doesn't look too good for this area of showers and storms. We expect this to continue moving to the to the west, but the deal is drier air is awaiting those showers and storms, so not a chance for those to get organized. That system to the north or that wave to the north could become a subtropical or a subtropical system through the weekend. The next name on the list is Kirk. K I R K. There's your high setup for today. Lower and middle 90s, lower 80s by 11 tonight and 80 at 2. Where else will it feel like fall this weekend in Columbus, Ohio, where Tulane will be lower 70s at kickoff. That'll be nice. And the Saints will be having some lower 80s at kickoff in Atlanta, Georgia. Here's your seven day forecast. And we're looking at rain and storms through the weekend and early next week, but let's hope for Thursday. Next Thursday, we can get a cool down here. Back to you. All right, Clinton, thanks. We are following some breaking news at this hour. Traffic is being diverted following a crash on North Villery at Canal Street. You can see in this live picture the car crashed right into a crane. Louisiana State Police and New Orleans police officers on the scene. If you're headed out of the city, you will be diverted off of Canal. Our crew on the scene is working to get more information. We'll bring it to you as soon as it becomes available. All right, still to come at noon, a mom said that she was punishing her daughter when she took away her cell phone, but the mom is the one who ended up with the charges. We'll explain after the break. And we all know cutting the grass can be a chore, but for one Ohio teen, it was also his punishment. We have those details coming up. Welcome back. So a Michigan mother arrested for stealing 
after taking away her teen daughter's cell phone has actually been vindicated today. According to records, Jody May was arrested the day before Mother's Day on a misdemeanor theft charge. The mom said she took an iPhone from her 15 year old daughter after the girl got in trouble at school. Now, the prosecutor said the mom never told the deputies that she had taken the phone away to punish her daughter and the case was eventually dismissed. So many questions about this. Clearly, the daughter must have bought her own phone because if the mama bought it for her, then that's my phone. I, I let mean, you use. The daughter's going to be in <laughs> more trouble than just, uh, I mean, put a mom in jail. I know. That's, how, a, that's, that's, that's so crazy. Yeah. All right. An Ohio teen is charged with a crime after mowing a cuss word into the grass at a nice. local high school, but a judge offered the teen a creative punishment in lieu of going to jail. 19 year old Cody Scott had to mow the lawn to keep himself out of the slammer. In June, Cody and some others cut obscenities into the field with a lawnmower at Fairport Harding High School. Judge, the judge in the case is known for his creative sentencing. After two and a half hours of manually mowing the lawn, Cody says that he has learned his lesson. And let me tell you, Cody was out there with a real. So old, I was going to say, old, like, manually <laughs> mowing the lawn. That's the punishment right there. No electric, no gas. He's like this old school mower. That's a big one. Yeah, I know. I, I bet he did learn his lesson. He le learned his lesson. Well, we got some more lessons for you after the break. We got more news and weather. Stay with us. Hey, in 2017, Norfolk Southern Police issued warnings to 114 people and arrested 11 more in Slidell. All right, at 1229, let's take a live look outside. It is a hot Thursday with some areas actually reaching heat indices in the triple digits. That's right. Meteorologist Coylin Murphy uh, joins us now with more on the heat and your weekend forecast. Coylin. Hey, so much heat that will stick around through the Friday, Saturday, Sunday time frame, but rain chances are what's going to tip over that 40% potential moving into the weekend. Here's a look right now what's happening today and right now at this moment 90 degrees east northeast winds at nine miles per hour it feels like 103 out there 
and Kenner around the airport. The actual temperatures for some other spots, upper 80s and lower 90s, so not so bad, not compared to yesterday at least. 103 in Kenner, 102 for Galliano, and 102 for Grand Isle. That's how it feels out there, so plenty of heat and humidity. We're looking at rain and storm chances to increase for the weekend, 50 to 40 percent Saturday and Sunday. Not a washout of any day in the weekend, but we are looking at the rain chances to increase as we move into uh, parts of the day, uh, at least the weekend where you're off. Radar right now is showing fairly dry conditions out there, very spotty showers and no storm showing up right now, just some light to moderate downpours at times. We'll have more on the rest of your forecast coming up in just a bit. Back to you. Phelan, thank you. Well, happening right now, railway police are teaching people about train track safety with an outreach program. WDSU reporter Michael Vincent is live at the Amtrak station building in Slidell with more. Michael. And hey there, Charles, that's right. The police department from the Norfolk Southern train facility, they are here going around the railroad tracks, making sure that nobody is trespassing, but also going around and educating the residents here in Slidell about the dangers and this also the safety about be or, or regarding train tracks. Now, they also said that they are here in Slidell because Slidell in Slidell, they've seen a higher number of people trespassing, even a higher number of charges and arrests in this city. So they want to make sure people are educated. Now, the Norfolk Southern Police said that they issued warnings to 114 people and arrested 11 people in 2017 between New Orleans and Slidell for trespassing on railroad property. They said the year before, in 2016, three people were walking, standing, or lying on the tracks. They were struck by Norfolk Southern trains in the Slidell area. Two of them did prove to be fatal, so another reason why they are out here trying to educate the public. Now, across the state of Louisiana, seven people died and 11 people were injured in Louisiana last year after being struck by trains while trespassing. So again, they are here trying to reinforce the message to be safe. Do not try to cross the tracks and just make sure that people have the information that the police department is going out and talking to the public. We're going to go with them in the next few minutes here. You can hear more what the residents say and also more from the Norfolk Southern Police Department coming up this afternoon right here on WDSU. Live in Slidell, Michael Vincino, WDSU News. Thank you, Michael. And in New Orleans, city officials are celebrating Duncan Plaza's enhancements. You're invited to check it out for yourself tonight as the community is being invited to downtown park for the happy hour event with the Urban South Brewery and food from La Cocinita food truck. The celebration will include free outdoor screening of Marvel's Black Panther with snowballs and popcorns. All starts at 6 p.m. tonight. Oh, no, hope this email ain't wrong. It say congratulations on paying back your student loans. I took a screenshot, boy, I had to... All right, he paid Sally Mae back, and now he's making sure future college students can do the same. Rapper D1 is going to Eleanor McMain Secondary School to talk about students, to talk to students about college planning and financial literacy. It's part of his Bridging the Dream tour with the student loan company with Sally Mae. After giving tips on planning for college and managing money, D1 will perform his viral hit about paying off his student loans. Sally Mae back. All right, Mayor Latoya Cantrell and school officials are welcoming AmeriCorps members to kick off a year of service in area schools. 54 City Year AmeriCorps members will pledge to help keep New Orleans students in school and on track to graduate. City Year will be serving in six New Orleans public charter schools. The nonprofit partners with schools around the country to help students succeed. The opening day ceremony will be at Arthur Ashe Charter School. It starts at 7 tonight. And days after Florence ripped through the Carolinas, people are assessing the damage and rebuilding. And thousands of volunteers are there to help with the process. Chris Brown is in North Carolina with the Red Cross with more on his relief efforts. Inside these trucks, you got more than they actually needed, but give them everything they want. Food, snacks, water, essentials that are hard to come by these days. All you got is the applesauce and that's it. And y'all are ready to roll. John gets it. He came here all the way from Arkansas. You good? Very good. All right. Be careful out there. Meeting a lot of really nice people. Uh, everybody cares. That's what matters. We're just here to help. He's running logistics for the American Red Cross, making sure these trucks have what they need to feed the people affected by Hurricane Florence. That takes a village. Just ask Charles Thomas. He's here from Tennessee. We're here to do whatever we can to make their life 
during this period a little bit easier. And Jim George, he's with a relief organization out of Virginia. They actually cook the meals the Red Cross serves. A meal or two. Yes. <laughs> More like 20,000 meals since Sunday. We've been doing this uh, on a small scale first since probably 1969 with Camille. But it's, it's just gotten larger and larger. They partner with the Red Cross. They've done it for years. And we both always have just understood this is a great partnership. We're all working together to make sure that we can alleviate as much of the suffering as we possibly can. For people like John, it's hard work and long days. All right, Miss Betty, you're ready. But if you see what they see. It kind of renews your faith in humanity. Yeah. It really does. What's inside these trucks is hope. And they say that's worth serving. People need hope. People need hope. And WDSU News has also teamed up with the Red Cross to help those affected by the storm. If you'd like to pitch in and donate, just go to WDSU.com and click on the Hurricane Florence relief link. Well, exactly one year ago today, Hurricane Maria ravaged Maria ravaged Puerto Rico. Almost 3,000 people died. More than a half million homes were damaged, and many on the island were left without power for months. Today, Puerto Ricans continue to rebuild and remember those lives lost. Some areas were flooded and in complete darkness after Hurricane Maria. The cleanup took weeks and the damage was extensive, but one woman decided to open her family business just about a month after the storm. We will call out, oh, you need this, you need that, and they will come to you. And there was a lot of um, moments that were very difficult, but if it wasn't for our neighbors and it wasn't for anybody helping us, probably we would have not eventually made it. The family business is a bakery. It's now open seven days a week. The family is back to work, but with a new perspective. Well, you may have seen uh, these ladies riding around town, but they're also driving home a message of female empowerment. After the break, we will sit down with the ladies of Caramel Curves. And many people have uh, an aspirin therapy regimen for heart health, but is that really good for you? Our medical editor weighs in after the break. A live look outside on your Thursday afternoon. You're watching WDSU News at noon. Have a seat. Okay. <laughs> All right. 30 seconds, Charles. 30 seconds. Here we go. All right. Go ahead and uh, sit there on the right side. That was great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Tell me your name. Nicole Shows. Coco. Coco. You could just say Coco. And Karma. 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 Coco. Karma. Karma. 
karma. Karma. Yes. Like karma okay. comes back. Yeah, I got it. <laughs>
<laughs> There's a good chance you'll see lots of motorcycles out on the roads this afternoon. Dry conditions, that's always good to see when you have uh, those dry conditions. You can get out there and enjoy the weather, but it's hot out there. Make sure you're staying hydrated throughout the day. Lots of sunshine right now over the city. 90 degrees at the airport in Kenner. The feels like temperature up to 103. That eats east northeast winds at nine miles per hour. So again, we're feeling a lot of stagnant air out there and heat and humidity could be a problem if you have to stay outside for a prolonged period. So make sure you're staying hydrated through the day. Those typical summer safety uh, patterns implement those 88 at the lakefront, 89 in Slidell and 91 in Hammond. But the heat index is 100 in Hammond, upper 90s right now from Grandal to Galliano and 99 for the lakefront. We are seeing temperatures just slightly cooler than at this time yesterday by three to four degrees. A few spotty showers, but overall conditions are dry. Some offshore action around Horn and Cat Islands also seeing some showers around Galliano up towards cutoff and seeing some showers over portions of Plaquemines. But for the most part, the eastern half of the country is dry. Most of the rain out to the west over the Rockies, the Plains, Minnesota seeing some heavy rainfall at times, and you can see where the heat is locked in, corresponding with where all the rain is not happening. 91 in Atlanta, 92 in Memphis, and behind that rainfall seeing some 50s to the north. That's because high pressure is still a major player for us. Above normal temperatures continuing, and actually for the eastern seaboard, as well, 5 to 15 degrees above normal. Our rain chances today, again, staying pretty isolated even into the early evening hours. Overnight will be dry. This is tomorrow afternoon. Scattered storms around 40 to 50 percent overall on Friday. Increasing rain on Saturday as a front out to the west gets closer. This is not the front that's coming in, but certainly going to help to promote rain and storms through the weekend. Fall countdown two days away, Saturday, 854 Central Time. And there may be a fall front on our doorstep early Thursday morning next week. OK, so we may ha have some 60s for the North Shore Thursday morning, some 70s for parts of the South Shore Thursday. So we'll keep an eye on that. In the meantime, watching the tropics, not anything out there named at this time, but two areas of potential development, uh, one here south around the Windward Islands. The other one in the central Atlantic Atlantic waters has a 40 percent chance of formation in the next five days. This may become a subtropical or subtropical tropical or tropical system by the weekend. We're not concerned about that one and this one really not a concern either. Conditions unfavorable by later on tonight. We're going to watch the showers and storms moving into some drier air, so really not a big chance that that will develop. Overall rain chances low today into the evening, lower 80s overnight, upper 70s and low 80s. That's good news for high school football games this evening into the lower 80s. Tulane in Ohio taking on Columbus. I'm telling you, this is going to be some nice air. Lower 70s at kickoff Saturday in Columbus. Not here. We'll see 70s at night, even into next week, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday and rain chances roughly 40 to 50, even 60% by Monday and Tuesday. That's your forecast. Back to you. Thank you, Quaylen. Well, uh, could house cleaners be making children overweight? Is taking aspirin daily harmful for healthy adults? Well, I'm here with WDSU medical editor Corey A. Bear with the answer to the health stories making news this week. And, and, yes. and Dr. Aber, you know, it's always been kind of common knowledge uh, about aspirin taking it to prevent yes. possible heart attacks, mm -hmm. but they're saying now it may be harmful for healthy adults. Right, right, and this is really groundbreaking stuff, man. I mean, 20,000 people in a study in the New England Journal of Medicine came out to say that if you are 70 years old and you have no history of cardiac problems at all, then doing a daily aspirin can actually not only not help you, it could really hurt you. And this is groundbreaking because the issue has always been an aspirin day keeps the doctor, doctor away, obviously. But we know now that people that have had strokes and have had heart disease, all these types of things are taking daily aspirin. And we've been doing this for many, many years. What we found is that the daily aspirin, the aspirin is an acid, it's, you know, and so we know that, that eats away at the, ga at the gastric lining, so the lining of the stomach, so it causes gastro gastrointestinal bleeding. But some, one of the other things that came out of the study is that you had an increased risk of cancer. If you are over the, the age of 70 and you take a, an aspirin to prevent a uh, cardiac issue. Now, this is really important. If you are taking aspirin right now, do not stop. 
okay? Because we the, the, every, every patient is different. And there are some exceptions to every rule. But what we want you to do is go see your doctor and make a decision based on uh, your actual health benefits and risk. It's a risk benefit ratio. But don't just start taking aspirin now thinking that you're preventing your health um, health. Uh, issues because the aspirin is going to stop you from having a heart attack, stroke, or, or any other cardiac event. Some good advice there. Now let's get this next uh, subject, household disinfectants yes. and child obesity. H how does that even okay. come together? All right, now, and, and the reason why I, I brought this study out is because everybody thinks that what they read on television and what they, I mean, what they read uh, in the paper or online or see on television is, is real. This study actually is a good study theoretically because it says that if you uh, use household disinfectants, all right, and they followed these children, about 3,000 children from birth to adolescence, those children that were in those households actually had an increased risk of being overweight as adults because of a particular bacteria called lactospirisii that this actual bacteria is, and we know that that has been linked to obesity. So the issue has become, if you have this bacteria, will you be obese? But what we have to remember is that this study is not causal. And so you read this, you're like, oh my God, I gotta change everything, right? It's not causal. What this means is that we don't know what the other, the, 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 the people that had the houses that didn't use these products actually may have used a lot of other healthy things for their children. So there's so many other factors. So what I don't want you to do is read something like this and say, I'm throwing away all my household cleaners. You can't do that. What you have to do is remember that you got to talk to your doctor and read the full story and look at the study. And that's why I'm here. All right. That's why I'm here. So we can get this stuff to everybody can understand. Always talk to your doctor or refer to Dr. Avery. Thank you for joining that's us. Right. And we'll see you next week. We got a lot more after the break. Stay with us. And we are following a developing situation in Maryland. A lone suspect arrested following a shooting at a Rite Aid distribution center. The Hartford County Sheriff says there are multiple injuries and multiple fatalities. Authorities say a call about shots fired came in 
just after nine this morning and deputies and other officers were on the scene in just over five minutes. We'll have more on the story tonight at four. Well, there is a new trend brewing in Oregon, and it just may bring some stability to a tap room near you. A handful of breweries in the Beaver State are testing out a new idea when it comes to how they bottle their beer. Keely Talmers explains. And this tells a great story. You might notice something a bit different at the Widmer Brothers retail store these days. A beer in a different looking kind of bottle. Definitely feels heavier. Widmer Brothers is the first local brewery to take part in a first of its kind program. This is the first statewide system in the United States for a refillable bottle program. That's right. The brewery's new Petite Saison is bottled in reusable beer bottles. It's been selling phenomenal. We've sold hundreds of bottles. The bottles, made from 70% recycled glass, have these distinct bottle drop and refillable markings on them. The Oregon Beverage Recycling Cooperative is spearheading the project. So this bottle is built to go be used maybe 20, 25 times. So instead of being crushed and recycled like a typical glass bottle, which takes an immense amount of energy, these are simply washed and reused. It's a much smaller environmental impact and reduces the environmental footprint or the carbon footprint by half each time we use it. I didn't realize Windmere did this, so that'd be definitely kind of an interest of mine to uh, get these instead of something else has to be a crush and reuse and recycle. You just won't be able to throw them in your curbside recycling. Instead, you can either take them to a bottle drop facility or to the retailer you got them from. It's a great, uh, great green initiative and uh, something we feel really passionate about. In addition to Widmer, six other local breweries have signed up to start using the reusable bottles, which means you'll start seeing a lot more of these on the shelves in the weeks to come. Well, you know, people uh, take politics very seriously, but once a month, a group in New Orleans takes a little more lighthearted approach. All right, that tops today's community calendar. Politics with a Punch is a live show where people have a humorous discussion about what's happening in the city, state, and nation. Got to laugh to keep from crying sometimes. Today's program is a special 2018 election countdown mm. show. Some of the panelists include a council members, a state representative, and WDSU's Fletcher Mackle. Tickets are 20 bucks per person, 35 per couple, and they can be purchased at the door. The doors at Eiffel Society open at 6. The show starts at 8. It's a pretty good time. Should be a good time. You know, uh, Fletcher's uh, outspoken. Well, the <laughs> Urban League of Louisiana wants to help you speak for yourself at the doctor. The organization is teaming up with 100 black men to have a, a panel discussion called Advocating for Yourself and Your Health. Health professionals are going to give guidance for speaking to doctors. Panelists will talk about many topics, including questions for your new doctor. The event is free. It's at the Urban League at 6 p.m. All right, before we go, meteorologist Quayla Murphy he is here with another check of the forecast. Yeah, free is good, by the way. Uh, here's a look at the forecast for this afternoon. The rest of the day still hot and humid, low to mid 90s for the afternoon. Just some spotty storms and not seeing a whole bunch of that right now. Rain chances do go up this weekend. No fall field, even though we move into fall officially Saturday. But by next Thursday, I think we have a treat on the way. All right, Quayla Murphy, Charles Divins. That is our time for now. We'll see you back here at four o'clock. Have a great afternoon. A little, a nice little basket for you guys yeah. together, and I don't know what's gonna be in it, yeah. but I pick it up tomorrow. Oh. All right, so, so I'll be, I'm bring it either. I'm not coming Friday, but it'll probably be next Thursday. But I'll bring it. I like the sign. No, now I do. I, I'm doing it all today. I oh, do the live thing and then tape for tomorrow, oh, so I don't I have to. That. That's good Look at you, you utilizing your time wisely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you know, people, uh, people tend not to utilize my time wisely. Oh, 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 I had an issue. I had an issue. You were here. You saw it. Y'all have a good day, man. How's that baby, man? He's good. He's so nice. He is. <laughs> Very nice. That's all you can do, man. That's all you can. That's all you can make, man. Come on.
Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, man. I know you're right. Okay, good. No makeup. Man, that's harsh. Yes. They, they don't have the scripts? I sent them to the news desk and to um, Sydney. Oh, okay, cool. All right. I'll do whatever it takes to make him get to where we need him to be. Let me know. Whoa, soap operas. Soap operas still come on. Damn. Oh, that's T bars. They need me to resend them? Okay, that's what I'm saying. If they need me to resend it so they can have it real quick, they can just let me know. Cause I. Oh, okay, cool. All right. I had a patient this week that had some very serious canker sores, and they thought that Five, four, three. Oh, it blanked out. Okay, it's back. Five, four, three. 
I had a patient this week that had some very serious canker sores, and the patient thought they were cold sores. So I wanted to talk about some of these differences. You see, cold sores and canker sores have tons in common, but they differ on major points, their causes and their treatments. If you've ever had a cold sore or a canker sore, you'll understand why these common oral problems are also two of the most despised. You see, both conditions cause small, painful, and sometimes embarrassing sores to develop in or around the mouth. So how do these differ? So cold sores or fever blisters tend to form on the outside of the mouth or, or around the lips. They may even appear on the cheeks, the chin, and the nostrils. And canker sores, which are also called aphthous ulcers, occur inside, usually on the tongue, gums, and inner cheeks. Fever blisters tend to be tiny clusters of blisters that break open and weep clear fluid before eventually crusting over and healing, whereas canker sores are usually more reddish ulcers that quickly burst and then are covered with a thin white membrane during the healing process. Their cause is the most important distinction. You see, cold sores spring from a highly contagious virus called herpes simplex or HSV-1. Like other viruses, HSV is extremely contagious, which means your cold sore could easily infect someone else and vice versa. On the other hand, canker sores are not at all contagious. Although there's no definitive cause, the small ulcers are likely brought on by factors like emotional stress or minor injury, like dental work or rigorous brushing. Other possible causes of canker sores include acidic or allergic causing foods, also hormonal shift during menstruation, a diet lacking in nutrients like zinc and vitamin B12, and less commonly, certain inflammatory conditions. So while it seems that cold sores and canker sores are pretty different, they do have one unpleasant trait in common. Both have the tendency to... <clears throat> so while... There you go. So while it seems that cold sores and canker sores are pretty different, they do have one unpleasant trait in common. Both have the tendency to recur, which means if you've had one sore, you can have another sore. Nope, one more time. Sorry. <clears throat> there you go. So while it seems that cold sores and canker sores are pretty different, they do have one unpleasant trait in common. Both have the tendency to recur, which means if you've had one cold sore or canker sore, you'll probably have another one eventually. It's a bummer, but there are some things you can do. For cold sores, avoid direct sunlight, stress, and believe it or not, peanut consumption has been linked to cold sore recurrence. And for cankers, choose toothpaste and mouthwashes that actually do not contain sodium lauryl sulfate. And make sure you eat a balanced diet, as some nutritional deficiencies can cause those pesky, painful lesions. I'm medical editor Dr. Corey A. Bear with your weekend house call. More often than not, premenstrual syndrome, better known as PMS, is described with one life-altering symptom, mood swings. In reality, PMS triggers many symptoms and is a recognized medical disorder. In addition to moodiness, symptoms of PMS include anxiety, depression, acne, swollen and painful breasts, fatigue and insomnia, headache or backache, muscle pain, appetite changes, and bloating. These symptoms are primarily caused by the changes in the hormone levels that happen right after ovulation, around 14 days before the beginning of a woman's period. About 85% of menstruating women have at least one symptom of PMS. Often stress and emotional problems, low level of vitamins, <clears throat> often, Often stress and emotional problems, low levels of vitamins, and eating salty foods and drinking alcohol and caffeine make symptoms even worse. Fortunately, you can do a lot to ease your monthly discomfort. You need to exercise more, eat healthy foods, get enough sleep, and don't smoke. You should also avoid salty, sugary foods and caffeine and alcohol. And go ahead and vent about your moodiness, but you might want to do it in the pages of a journal. You may also find that certain nutritional supplements, such as folic acid or magnesium, ease PMS. Ask your doctor if that's a smart choice for you, for sure. And over-the-counter pain relievers, such as ibuprofen, can actually ease inflammation and discomfort. And doctors sometimes prescribe birth control pills to relieve severe PMS symptoms. If every month of the year you actually feel a wave of despair, panic, anger, or lack of interest in activities, see your doctor because you might be dealing with a form of PMS called premenstrual dysphoric disorder, which is P PMDD. 
Wow. Okay, there you go. If every month you feel a wave of despair, panic, anger, or lack of interest in activities, you need to see your doctor right away because you might be dealing with a form of PMS called premenstrual dysphoric disorder which is a severe form of premenstrual syndrome. The symptoms of PMDD are similar to those of PMS, but they're severe enough to interfere with work, social activities, and relationships. PMDD occurs in two to 10% of menstruating women. Women with a family of his, fuck, women, let me stop right there. Women with a family history of premenstrual syndrome or PMDD are at greater risk for developing PMDD as there appears to, There's too many pickle pepper, Peter P. There you go. Women with family history of premenstrual syndrome or PMDD are at a greater risk for developing PMDD as there appears to be a strong genetic component. As with PMS, the exact cause of PMDD is not known. Recent studies have shown a connection between PMDD and low levels of serotonin and antidepressants are generally used to treat this very debilitating condition. I'm medical editor Dr. Corey Bear with your weekend house call.